Om Shanti and good morning to our respected and enlightened Anjali Jaipuriya ma'am, Honorable Principal Pramani Chopra ma'am, revered teachers and my fellow Jaipurians. Now that we have invited the divine into our hearts and prayed for the seamless conduct of today's session, I excitedly welcome you all to the first session of day four of our spiritual retreat. Our guest speaker for today is none other than Sister B.K. Shivani, who is lovingly known as Shivani Devi. Shivani Devi has been a practitioner of the Raj Yoga meditation for over 24 years. Her practical application of spiritual principles on the TV program Awakening with Brahma Kumari has empowered people to overcome issues of emotional distress, depression and relationship conflicts for over 14 years. She is an electronics engineer from the Pune University. In March 2018, she was awarded the prestigious Nari Shakti Puraskar, the highest civilian honor for women in India by the President of India for her role in transforming the lives of millions of people. She has been appointed as a goodwill ambassador by the World Psychiatrist Association. Today is undoubtedly a very special day. It is a meeting of two spiritual nightingales, Anjali Ma'am and Shivani Didi. I would like to thank Shivani Didi for gracing us with her presence today and would request her to enlighten us all on the topic, Creating Your Destiny. Well, as little children, we had always heard that beautiful song, Nanne Munne Bachche, Teri Muthi Me Kya Hai, Muthi Me Hai, Takdeer Hamari. And if we follow the path of spirituality, we try to connect with the divine who is so close to us. If we connect with the peace and knowledge and light and goodness and harmony and perfection, which is above and all around us, then our destiny is already written in golden words. And that is the reason that we have these spiritual retreats year after year. And we are so blessed and honored to have Sister Shivani amongst us to guide and bless us. We're really looking forward to hearing you. Om Shanti and good morning. Let's take a minute of silence. And in that minute, you are going to think of at least five things which are very beautiful in your destiny, which are, they already are. Five. Of course, there are many unlimited beautiful things in our destiny. But let's see what comes top of the mind. And destiny means our life right now, situations and everything that we have in our life here. So take a minute, close your eyes and then you write it down. But so my life five things, five things which make my destiny very beautiful. What are the five things which come foremost on my mind? Okay. So we've written at least five things, right? And five is a very small number because all of us are blessed with so many, so many, so many beautiful things in our destiny. So today or tomorrow, take out another five minutes and keep on writing under the list of that five which you've written today. It's very important to have this list with us because this list fills us with gratitude. It fills us with gratitude for everything, everything that we have. And then keep that list safely. And kisi din agar man khush nahi hoga, and you're not happy with what is happening in your life, and you are saying, mere saath aisa kyun hota hai? उस दिन आप ये वाली लिस्ट खोल लेना तो ये लिस्ट हमेशा होनी चाहिए अपने पास कि मेरे भाग्य में इतनी सारी अच्छी चीजें हैं एक आदि कोई प्रॉब्लम आ गई तो उसको तो हम ऐसे ही क्रॉस कर लेंगे बट एट दैट टाइम आई नीड टू फोकस ऑन ऑल द बेस्ट एंड द गुड दैट आई हैव बट समटाइम्स एट दैट टाइम वी फोकस ओनली ऑन दैट वन प्रॉब्लम दैट हैज कम इन टू आवर लाइफ एंड वो प्रॉब्लम इतनी बड़ी लगती है इतनी बड़ी लगती है कि बाकी सारी अच्छी चीजें याद ही नहीं आती हैं उस टाइम पे आर माइंड इज ओनली फोकस्ड ऑन 
मेरी जीवन में ऐसे होता है मेरे ही साथ ऐसे होता है बाकी सबका तो सब कुछ बहुत अच्छा है बस मेरे साथ ही ये प्रॉब्लम आते रहते हैं बिकॉज वी आर नॉट फोकसिंग ऑन दिस लॉन्ग लिस्ट ऑफ ऑल द ब्यूटिफुल थिंग्स दैट वी हैव इन आर लाइफ सो आउट ऑफ द फाइव थिंग्स दैट यू हैव रिटर्न इफ एनीथिंग इज नॉट वेरी पर्सनल एंड यू वॉन्ट टू पुट इट इन द चैट इन अ वर्ड और टू वर्ड्स यू टेक अनादर थर्टी सेकेंड एंड जस्ट टाइप मे बी नॉट ऑल फाइव मे बी वन टू वट एवर सो दैट वी गेट एन आइडिया of what beautiful things we have in our destiny what is it that came first on our mind when we said what is beautiful about my life to jo bhi agar likhna ho one word two words three words dal do let everybody realize kyunki usse kya hoga somebody would have not thought of that one thing which they had but seeing it in your list they will also write it in their list so it's very very important family very good family and school my son beautiful my family nature supportive family my job god very good my gurus i survived covid happiness my daughter very good my actions yeah my will power very good faith in god yeah children environment health kids breath husband very good देखो बच्चे कितने इंपॉर्टेंट होते हैं ब्रेथ से पहले भी बच्चे लिखा उन्होंने अपना सी अपनी श्वास भी सेकंड लिखे और हम बच्चे अपने पेरेंट्स के बारे में कितना कुछ करते रहते हैं मम्मी पापा ऐसे करते हैं मम्मी पापा ऐसे करते हैं और मम्मी पापा लिस्ट में सबसे पहले बच्चे लिख देते हैं वेरी गुड ओके डन ना अनादर वन मिनट साइलेंस टू राइट थ्री थिंग्स विच आर नॉट लाइकिंग विच इज हैपनिंग इन योर लाइफ राइट नाउ ये तो ब्यूटीफुल वाली चीजें थी ना खुद छोटी छोटी कभी बड़ी बड़ी कुछ आ जाती है बातें विच वे नॉट वेरी हैप्पी एंड यू यू नीड नॉट शेयर दैट ऑन द चैट इट्स ओके बट यू नीड टू कीप इट विद यू टू और थ्री थिंग्स जो आपको इस समय है लाइफ में जो ठीक नहीं लग रही है बिकॉज वन इज आई नीड टू नो एवरी थिंग दैट्स वर्किंग वेल इन माई लाइफ सेकेंड आई नीड टू नो वट इज नॉट वर्किंग वेल इन माई लाइफ and third i need to know how to make it work well what is not working well so it's very important to check okay if i had to complain about something in my life or if i had to be not very happy about something in my life what would it be what would it be or if i compared my life to someone else and i felt they had it better than me then what would it be and when i look at other people and i said inke paas jo hai agar mere paas bhi hota to kitna acha hota what would it be anusha you want to say something did he uh, can it be materialistic also it can be like anything something which is materialistic it can be anything anything destiny and life can be anything anything which i believe if i had it or it was better than what it is right now i would be happier i would be happier which means i'm not contented with that one particular thing or that two particular things in my life it could be objects it could be people sometimes for some people it could be something with their physical health for somebody it could be their own performance i want to be taller how sweet yeah something like that you know anything you feel i wish i was this and this something different concentration yeah you know, we would love to have a destiny with 100% concentration wouldn't it be mind not going anywhere ek ghante mein padhai puri ho jati my speed to do work yes anxiety and stress yes efficiency environmental abuse yes thoughts flood my mind inish you want to say something ma'am i wish i was focused <coughs> i wish i was focused na even i wish yes, i was more focused than what i am right now yes ma'am hai na okay अब ये दोनों लिस्ट दे आर इम्पोर्टेंट एज ऑफ नाउ दे आर इनकम्प्लीट सो वी कीप दिस ऑन आर टू डू लिस्ट 
that we will sit today itself because if we postpone it, we might not go back to the list. So today itself, we are going to sit and first and foremost, we're going to write, complete the list of beautiful things. Because that list is very long, that list is very long, you have to write it in it. And that list is not going to be finished And then you go and write it in your list. You say, oh wow, I have this also, go and write it in your list. Go and write it in your list. And then let's compare the two lists. One, the list of the beautiful things in my destiny. And one, the little chota sa list of the not so perfect things in my destiny. And then if I had to give myself a grading, you know, I also have to give myself a grading on how do I believe my life is. If somebody says, rate your life, you know, rate your life on the scale of one to 10. We keep rating other people. We have to rate our life on a scale of one to 10. One means terrible life and 10 means perfect life. And if I had to rate my life on a scale of one to 10, now give that rating to yourself, which means you're rating your destiny. You're rating your destiny. On a scale of 10, how do you say your life? It's messed up. It's not bad, it's not good. It's not going to happen here. But that is one. And 10 is like, everything is perfect. It's better than this. 5, 6, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Why is 0.5 also very cute? Okay. गुड अब इस रेटिंग को भी संभाल के रखना है क्योंकि ये रेटिंग भी टाइम टू टाइम चेंज होती रहेगी इट्स नॉट गोइंग टू बी द सेम एवरी डे डेफिनेटली नॉट गोइंग टू बी द सेम इन एवरी फेज ऑफ आर लाइफ सो वी हैव टू कीप चेकिंग द रेटिंग नाउ ऑन व्हाट बेसिस डिड आई गिव रेटिंग टू माय डेस्टिनी एंड लेट्स चेक इफ आई कैन इंक्रीज माई रेटिंग अ लिटिल बिट विदाउट एनीथिंग आउटसाइड चेंजिंग इन माई लाइफ राइट Without anything, uh, suppose somebody said, I want to be taller. Now, they can't be taller in five minutes. They can't be taller in five minutes. They can't be taller. So it is a situation which is not in my control as of now. Probably, if they are in age and they start to be taller in five minutes, they will be taller in five minutes. But let's assume that he is not or she is not going to be as tall as people say you should be taller. Nothing else. It's not written anywhere else. कि आपको कितना लंबा होने की जरूरत है. It's not written anywhere else. But society has given a reference, and society एक benchmark रख देती और फिर कहती है, oh this person is tall, oh this person is short, oh this person is thin, oh this person is fat, oh this person is fair, oh this person is dark. ये parameters किसने decide किए? Who decided this parameter? This person is beautiful. This person is not. How did society decide this parameter? On what basis they gave us rating about how we look, about our personality, just their perception. It's just people's perception. So the same person can be tall for somebody, but somebody who's six feet tall meets them and they say, oh, you're not very tall. So it's only very a relative word, very relative word. So if people's perspective about me can be different, can I also change? Check my perspective about myself, and I can I change my perspective? Can I change my perspective? Can I take my rating of destiny to ten without anything changing outside? Without anything changing outside, nothing is changing. I'm not going to become taller suddenly. I might not have the best concentration suddenly. Yes, if I work on it, I will get. But things will not change outside in two days. But to change my perspective of what is there in my life, it does not even take two seconds. It does not even take two seconds. It's all about how I perceive. What is my attitude? Why is it very important? So let's see how our destiny gets created. There are two energies. There are two energies. One is the energy I create. Okay, so you will have to write this down as your equation for the rest of your life. One is an energy that I create. What is the energy I create? I create thoughts. I create feelings. Right? So let me see what all do I create in the whole day, which is my property. It's my power. 
I create my thoughts, I create my feelings, I create my words, how I speak. This is my creation. Then I create my behavior. This is all my creation. This is the energy which I create. So look at it like a wave. And this wave of energy is flowing from me out into the world. The energy that I create. What do I create? I create thoughts and feelings. Then I say something into words. And then I come into behavior. This is the energy that I create. This energy is called my karma. This energy is called my karma. My karma, why? Because I created it. I created it. So it's my karma. But I need to remember what all comes under my karma. Not just my behavior, but my thoughts and feelings and words and behavior. Because people can only see our words and behavior. Even we sometimes only focus on our words and behavior. And I say, I was very nice to them. I behaved properly. I spoke the right words. But nobody's thinking, nobody's checking, how was I thinking about them? How was I thinking about them? What can people see? Only how I was speaking to them, how I was behaving with them. Nobody's checking how I was thinking. Even I am not checking how I am thinking. So then I am not really checking my karma the right way. So karma means thoughts, feelings, words, behavior is the energy that I create, I radiate out. Now you all are sitting in a room and I'm sure there's a wall opposite to where you are sitting, right? So if you're sitting this side, there'll be a wall that side. Visualize, imagine you hold a ball in your hand. Do it. Do hold an imaginary ball in your hand. Hold an imaginary ball in your hand and throw it at the wall. Throw it. Now we know, right? By the law of science and by our day-to-day -day experience, will that ball come back? Will that ball hit the wall and come back? Yes, it will. Yes, it will. When will it come back? I don't know. At which speed will it come back? I don't know. Where in which direction it will come back? I don't know. But the ball will come back. Now this is destiny. So when I'm throwing the ball, it's karma. This is karma because it's going from me out into the world. The wall is the world. Okay? We'll see what all comes in the wall. But the wall is right now the world. So I create my thoughts, feelings, words, behavior, throw it out into the world. And then that ball comes back to me. That ball can come back to me the next second. Sometimes the ball comes back to me 10 minutes later. Sometimes 10 days later. Sometimes one year later. And sometimes after many, many years. But the ball definitely comes back to me. And when this ball comes back to me, that is meaning in terms of situations in my life. That is called destiny. So we have to get the equation right. What is karma and what is destiny? Because we keep hearing these words. We keep hearing these words. But we have to be very sure. What is the meaning of it? This is karma and this is destiny. So write it down. What I create, karma. What happens to me, destiny. Very simple. What I create, karma. What happens to me, destiny. So sometimes when we look at other children, we say, they are so lucky. I am not as lucky as them. Or we say, this was good luck. Or mine was bad luck. Or the other person was bad luck. So we keep using this word luck, lucky, unlucky, how fortunate, how unfortunate. We keep using all these words. But what is the meaning of this word? How is it possible that someone is lucky and another person is not lucky, who decided? Who decided this? That this one will be lucky and this one will not be lucky. This one will be fortunate. This one will not be that fortunate. Who decided it? So then society gave us another logic. Society said, everybody, everything is decided by God. 
everything is decided by God. So then we are taught that everything happens as per God's will. You know, Hindi mein kehte hai, patta patta bhi bhagwan ki marzi se hilta hai. Thik hai? So, if I am taught ke patta patta bhi bhagwan ki marzi se hilta hai, and I go like, okay, everything is happening as per God's will. God is deciding everything that's happening into everybody's life. Take 10 seconds and ask your question to your mind. Don't bother about what all we've heard from the world. Just ask yourself, if God was deciding everybody's destiny, and if God was deciding the destiny of the world, and if God was deciding my destiny, give one word, how would that destiny be? Ek word mein likhna. And put it on the chat. One word. If God was deciding everybody's destiny, best, beautiful, very good, perfect. Yeah, simple, no? It doesn't even take 10 seconds to have this answer. It doesn't even take 10 seconds to have this answer. If God was writing everybody's destiny, then destiny would be perfect. That's one law. It has to be perfect. Even if God was not deciding, suppose any of us here got the power that write everybody's destiny. Suppose we get the power, write everybody's destiny. Will you write for anyone that they get COVID? Would you write in anyone's destiny like that? Would you write in anyone's destiny that they get COVID? You have the power to write everybody's destiny. Will you write in anyone's destiny that they get COVID? Anybody will write? No one will write. Will you write for anybody that they lose their family member because of COVID? Nobody will write. How many people lost family in during COVID? How many people lost family during COVID? Okay. If I was given the power to write destiny, would I write that there would be war between two countries? No, I wouldn't. How many people are losing lives and so much more is happening in those countries? Would I write that destiny? No. And then, of course, so much that is happening in the planet. So many people are unwell. So many people don't have enough to eat. So many are physically unhealthy. So many don't. So many children who don't have parents when they are born. Would we write a destiny like this to any, for anybody? No, we wouldn't. Now, important question is: If I would not write this kind of a destiny for anybody, will God write this kind of a destiny for anybody? Will God write? No, because it's not perfect. We said, what was the destiny God will write? God will write perfect, beautiful, perfect, beautiful. How many things are there today in the world which are not perfect? Which are not perfect? How many? You don't even have to look on the planet. Just look in your own city. Just look in your own city. So many things are happening every day with people which are not perfect. Which are not perfect. So how can we say that this has been written by God? Not possible. Not possible. Not possible. Okay. Do one more checking for yourself. Suppose someone was not good for, with you to, yesterday, had a big fight and did not behave properly with you or wronged you. And today you have the power to write their destiny. But yesterday they did a lot of wrong with you. Okay. But today you have the power to write their destiny. Would you want that they will fall down while they're getting into school and hurt themselves? Would you write a destiny like that for somebody? No. If we won't even write this much that they will fall down and hurt themselves, then who is writing all the bigger things that are happening with people today on a day-to-day -day basis? Definitely not God. Definitely not God. So one line we're going to check today. If God was writing everyone's destiny, then one thing is certain, it would be perfect. It would be perfect. Second thing that is certain is, it would be equal for everybody. It would be equal. It would not be, again, we go back to the bacha who feels that I'm not tall enough. Though you're very beautiful. Though I don't know which one you are in the window. But then, if God had to write destiny, then everybody would be the tall the same way. Everyone would have everything the same way. 
like a parent. All of us know how parents treat us. If we are two children or three children in a family, two parents want good for one child and lesser good for the other child. Never ever, never ever. So a parent, what does they want? They want the best for their child and they want the same equally best for all their children. What would a teacher want? A teacher would want best for every student and equally best for all the students. The student performs well or no, that's completely the student's power. But what is a teacher's intention or a parent's intention that they should be all good, perfect and all, not one should be perfect and the less, second one should be lesser perfect. So if we human beings would want everything to be perfect and equally perfect for all, then God would also want everything to be perfect and equally perfect. But today destiny is not perfect for many and most important, it's not equal for all. That's a very important thing. It's not equal. We know that someone could be born in a family where there are 20 people to take care of that child when that child is born. When there's so much abundance of wealth and someone could be born and they don't have parents the day they are born itself or they don't have enough wealth or someone could be born with a disease and someone could live up to 100 perfect healthy. This is not equal. This is not equal. It is so unfair then if somebody is writing this destiny on what basis it was written that I should be born with a disease and somebody else is physically fit till they're 100. This is very unfair. If God is writing this, then it's very unfair. Why on what basis God decided I get less, the other person gets more. So from today, one thing that we are going to stop doing is we're not going to blame God for our destiny. We're not going to blame God. That God wrote this in me. God wrote this in my destiny. Then what happens to that? Sometimes in life there is such a thing that God doesn't feel good. God doesn't feel good. Like during COVID. If someone lost their family member or someone lost more than one family member and go up to them and say ke ye bhagwan ki mercy thi to unko to wo bhagwan hi acha nahi lagega ye aisa kaisa bhagwan hai aisa kaise bhagwan hai ki mere parents mujhse le liye ye bhagwan hai to wo to kahega bhagwan koi nikal do mere ghar se aur mere kamre se mujhe chahiye hi nahi koi bhi photo koi murti mujhe kuch nahi chahiye i've seen so many people when something really serious, very terrible happens in their life. But first of all, they go to their home, and they take all the murtiyas and take all the murtiyas and take all the murtiyas. They say, we don't need such a God. So in times when we really need God's power the most, we kind of disconnect from God. Only because we thought, God wrote this problem into my life. So this is not right. This is not right. At that time, we have their power, their power, their power, their power, their power, their power. और उस टाइम ही कहते हैं मुझे भगवान को याद ही नहीं करना मुझे भगवान अच्छा ही नहीं लगता क्योंकि भगवान ने मेरे साथ ऐसा लिखा बिकॉज कहीं ना कहीं हमारे इसमें फिट हो गया था कि भगवान हमारी डेस्टिनी लिखते हैं तो भगवान हमारी डेस्टिनी नहीं लिखते हैं मील सी के भगवान क्या करते हैं बट डेस्टिनी नहीं लिखते हैं वाई अगर लिखते तो इट वुड बी परफेक्ट एंड सेकेंड इट वुड बी इक्वल फॉर ऑल दे वुड बी नो बायस के एक को कम एक को ज्यादा दिस इज नॉट पॉसिबल so because it's not perfect and it's not equal it's not god writing our destiny second concept we've all heard bachpan se suna hai ke jaisa karm karenge paisa bhagya milega law of karma jaisa karm karenge waisa bhagya milega ye bhi bachpan se suna hai ke as is the karma so is the destiny yes as you so so will you reap. Ye bhi bachpan se sunte hai. As is the karma, so is the destiny. Right? Ab ye do baate hum sunte hai, haan bachpan se. One was, as is my karma, so will be my destiny. And second was, God writes my destiny. Ye dono kaise ho sakte hai? Dono kaise ho sakte hai? Dono mein se ek hi ho sakta hai. Now, when it comes to as is my karma, so is my destiny. Let's check. I'm creating karma constantly. Why am I creating karma constantly? Because karma is, what is karma? 
one of you write it down priyambada would you write it down on the chat what is karma thoughts karma is equal to thoughts feelings words behavior karma is equal to thoughts feeling word behavior energy which we create perfect thoughts feelings words behavior so i am constantly creating karma there is no moment when i'm not creating karma it's constant because i'm constantly thinking even while i'm sleeping i'm thinking now when i'm creating thousands and thousands of thoughts feelings words behaviors during the day most of them are very nice ones but do we create some thoughts words behavior which are not perfect how many of you feel yes i do sometimes create what is not perfect right right so sometimes we do not create the perfect karma and do we all create the same thoughts feelings words and behavior not at all not at all so our karma is not equal now because my karma is not always perfect my destiny will also not always be perfect because it is a return of my karma the ball goes out the ball comes in it's only this what i throw it comes back so that ball goes and it comes back if i throw a perfect ball perfect ball comes back to me if i throw a little not perfect ball a little not perfect ball will come back to me for simple example very simple example of karma and destiny if i eat well right if i eat well if i eat healthy food if i eat all the sabjis that my mummy tells me to eat if i eat the dal if i have the fruit if i have the salad and i eat the right diet which my mummy papa asked me to eat so what quality karma am i creating good karma because they know what is good for me they know what is healthy and whatever they are telling me i am eating so i'm creating a good karma in terms of taking care of my health and because i have created a good karma means i threw a good ball i ate all the sabjis whether i liked it or no i ate it well that's good karma so then my body health will be good naturally because i took good care of my body but if my mummy says ke roti sabji kha lo and i say nahi mujhe to aaj pizza hi khana hai मुझे तो बगड़ ही खाना है मम्मी कहेंगे कल ही खाया था अब हम नेक्स्ट वीक खाएंगे सो इट्स नॉट शी टेलिंग अस डोंट ईट बट शी इज गोइंग टू बैलेंस आर कर्मा सो यू नो आर पेरेंट्स टीच अस टू बैलेंस आर कर्मा दैट यस सिक्स डेज ऑफ द वीक यू एड यू ईट हेल्दी फूड वन डे आई गिव यू समथिंग एल्स टू इट इफ आई बैलेंस दैट कर्मा आई हैव गुड हेल्थ बट इफ आई से फाइव डेज ऑफ द वीक आई विल ईट ऑल चटपट चटपट फूड एंड ठीक है थोड़ी थोड़ी सब्जी मैं खा लूंगा साथ में सो देन नॉट टूडे बट मेनी इयर्स लेटर माई बॉडी विल शो सम रिटर्न ऑफ दैट होगा या नहीं होगा होगा या नहीं होगा होगा ना एंड देन मेनी इयर्स लेटर इफ माई बॉडी गिव सम एक पेन सम समथिंग कैन आई से गॉड इज द कॉज ऑफ इट कैन आई से गॉड इज द रीजन and then i say how come that person is healthy and how come i am not can i say god is the reason no who is the reason how i took care of my health how i took care of my health so this is one kind of karma like that many karmas that we'll see but important is i am constantly creating karma all my karmas are very good but some of them are not perfect and that's why we need to focus on our karma the more we pay attention to our karma which means the more i take care of how i throw the ball i'm certain that the ball coming in return is going to be very good which means my destiny will be very good so i only need to take care of i only need to take care of that karma when i'm throwing it there okay now so my karmas are not always perfect and so my destiny sometimes is not the way i want it to be and second very important thing our karmas are not equal we are not creating same karmas so our destiny cannot be cannot be equal different karma so different destiny even two children born in the same house maybe twins maybe twins 
है ना दिखने में भी आइडेंटिकल है इक्वली टॉल है इक्वली ब्यूटिफुल है इतने आइडेंटिकल हैं कि पता ही नहीं चलता कि कौन कौन है आपके स्कूल में भी कोई ना कोई जरूर होगा ऐसा कि पता ही नहीं चलता ये कौन सा वाला बच्चा है इतने आइडेंटिकल होते हैं वो इतने आइडेंटिकल होते हैं फिर वो दिखने में आइडेंटिकल होते हैं लेकिन उनके कर्मा आइडेंटिकल नहीं होते हैं एंड इसलिए उनकी डेस्टिनी भी आइडेंटिकल नहीं होती है इवन दो दे लुक आइडेंटिकल दे आर बोर्न इन द सेम फैमिली दे गो टू द सेम स्कूल दे आर ऑलमोस्ट थ्रू आउट द डे डूइंग एवरीथिंग टूगेदर बट देर थॉट्स दे वर्ड्स दे बिहेवियर नॉट आइडेंटिकल एंड सो देर डेस्टिनी इज नॉट आइडेंटिकल सो वी कैन नेवर कंपेयर आर डेस्टिनी टू सो ये लिख के रख लेना आज नेवर कंपेयर योर लाइफ विद समबडी एल्स नॉट इवन विद योर ब्रदर्स एंड सिस्टर्स लीव अलोन विद फ्रेंड्स एंड विद क्लासमेट्स एंड विद एवरीबडी नो आई कैन नॉट कंपेयर माई लाइफ मीन्स माई डेस्टिनी आई कैन नॉट कंपेयर माई डेस्टिनी विद एनी बडी एल्स माई डेस्टिनी कुड बी हाउ आई लुक माई डेस्टिनी कुड बी हाउ इंटेलिजेंट एम आई इन माई स्टडीज माई डेस्टिनी कुड बी हाउ गुड आई एम इन स्पोर्ट्स इन एक्टिंग इन आर्ट सो मेनी थिंग्स in my destiny but i cannot compare my destiny with anybody else because i threw the ball in a different way and they threw the ball in a different way not right or wrong good or bad just different just different just different very sweet question if i work hard for an exam and then also not getting the result so what to do very good लिस्ट बनाते जाओ अपनी सारी कि हमें क्या क्या चेंज करना है अपनी डेस्टिनी में पर एटलीस्ट द पावर इज कमिंग बैक टू मी ठीक है सो ये क्लियर हो गया गॉड डज नॉट राइट आर डेस्टिनी नो बडी एल्स राइट आर डेस्टिनी हु इज राइटिंग माई डेस्टिनी ये आंसर फटाफट दे दो हु इज राइटिंग माई डेस्टिनी हा माई कर्मा मतलब हु I very important question. Put it in capital letters. Who is writing my destiny? I. कितनी बड़ी power है पता है? ये कितनी बड़ी power है? I write my destiny. I write my destiny. और दुनिया में तो लोग कितने कितने लोगों के पास जाके पूछते हैं मेरी destiny में क्या लिखा है? Please बता दो. जो किसी के पास नहीं जाते पूछने के लिए. जो मन करे वो लिख लेते हैं आज. है ना? है ना? कुछ लोग आप जाते हो ना? मेरे कभी कोई आपके क्लास में पूछता है कि मुझे ना हाथ देखना आता है तो सारे बच्चे अपना हाथ आगे कर देते हैं उसके सामने मेरा भी देखो मेरा भी देखो मेरे हाथ में क्या लिखा है मेरे हाथ में क्या लिखा है कुछ नहीं लिखा ये हाथ की लाइन तो छह महीने में चेंज हो सकती है छह महीने में चेंज हो जाएगी इसलिए कभी भी पूछना नहीं किसी को कि मेरी डेस्टिनी में क्या है खुद चूज करना कि अपने डेस्टिनी में क्या चाहते हैं उस क्वालिटी का कर्मा करना शुरू कर देना कुछ टाइम में उसको अपने जीवन में देख लेना it's happened because i create my destiny so i don't only create my karma i also create my destiny and this is power for the rest of your life this will make you powerful because you will never blame anyone for what's happening in your life blaming makes us weak hame bada kamzor bana deta hai क्या करूं मेरी किस्मत में ही नहीं था मेरी किस्मत ही खोटी है पता नहीं क्या क्या बोलते रहते हैं लोग क्या करूं मेरे मेरी लक की अच्छी नहीं है अच्छा कभी कभी फिर क्या करते हैं मैंने उस दिन वो वाली शर्ट पहनी थी ना मेरे मार्क्स अच्छे आए थे तो मैं आज भी वो वाली शर्ट पहन के जाऊंगा तो मेरे मार्क्स फिर से अच्छे आएंगे ओहो अगर शर्ट अच्छे पहनने से मार्क्स आ जाते तो फिर तो कुछ और करना ही ना पड़ता है ना तो फिर हम कितनी सारी चीजों पे डिपेंडेंट हो जाते हैं दिस इज माई लकी ड्रेस दिस इज माई लकी पेन दिस इज माई नो दे आर ओनली इंस्ट्रूमेंट दे डोंट राइट माई एग्जाम्स दे डोंट राइट माई डेस्टिनी वी स्टार्ट क्रिएटिंग दिस बिलीव सिस्टम्स कि दिस इज लकी दिस इज लकी लकी ओनली मीन्स अ गुड डेस्टिनी रिटर्न बाय वेरी गुड कर्मा एंड हु इज राइटिंग इट आई फिर कई बार हम ये भी लाइन सुनते हैं एवरीथिंग इज प्री डेस्टिंड है ना एवरीथिंग इज प्री डेस्टिंड सो एवरीथिंग इज प्री डेस्टिंड मीन्स माई डेस्टिनी इज ऑलरेडी रिटर्न 
everything is predestined means my destiny is already written by who by who by who so when this ball is coming back to me and someone in around me says this ball had to come back to you it was predestined predestined by who predestined means a destiny which was previously written it was already written previously written destiny written by who by my karma so the day the moment i throw the ball i've already written it that this ball is going to come back to me ab wo ball kabhi bhi wapas aaye but maine likh diya us din so i have written my destiny that day and the day the ball comes back to me people will say this was predestined ye to aapke bhagya mein likha hua tha bolte hai na ye to inke bhagya mein likha hua tha likha hua tha so now where does the focus come all on very important a power kiske paas aa gayi sari kisi ko blame nahi karna kisi ko blame nahi karna सारी पावर किसके पास आ गई अपने पास अब अपने पास भी रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी किस पे आ गई माय कर्मा इज व्हाट माय थॉट्स माय फीलिंग्स माय वर्ड्स माय बिहेवियर आई हैव टू चेक दिस नाउ लेट्स स्टार्ट मेकिंग अ लिस्ट ऑफ गुड गुड कर्मास ओके गुड कर्मा सारा दिन में चेक करो और अपने आप को पॉइंट्स देते जाओ साथ में दिस वॉज गुड कर्मा दिस वॉज गुड कर्मा दिस वॉज गुड कर्मा दिस वॉज गुड कर्मा दिस वॉज एवरेज कर्मा एंड दिस वॉज नॉट गुड कर्मा नॉट गुड कर्मा ये अपनी ऑडिट लिस्ट रोज बनानी चाहिए जिसको हम कहते हैं रात को लिखते हैं हम अपनी डायरी रात को हम लिखते हैं अपनी डायरी लोग भी डायरी लिखते हैं लेकिन डायरी में पता है क्या लिखते हैं आज मेरे साथ ये हुआ आज ये किया वो किया हम वो नहीं डायरी लिखते हैं उसको लिखने का क्या फायदा वो तो हो गया अभी क्या लिखना उसके बारे में डायरी वो लिखनी चाहिए कि आज मेरा कर्म कैसा था एंड स्पेशली फोकस ऑन नॉट टू बी हार्ड विद योर सेल्फ बट जस्ट सो दैट आई कैन क्रिएट अ चेंज टूमोरो विच वॉज द बॉल आई थ्रू टूडे विच वॉज नॉट ऑफ द परफेक्ट क्वालिटी अब ये एक मिनट लेके लिख लो कल के सारा दिन को चेक करते हुए येस्टडे येस्टडे को चेक करो एंड देन वील टेक द क्वेश्चन ऑफ दो रेस्ट हैंड्स कल के दिन को चेक करो आज मॉर्निंग को चेक करो येस्टडे इन द एंटायर डे एंड राइट एड डाउन यू डोंट टेल एनी पटी येस्टडे इन द एंटायर डे इवन डोंट इवन चेक एट द लेवल ऑफ थॉट्स दैट्स टू डीप जस्ट चेक एट द लेवल ऑफ वर्ड्स एंड बिहेवियर वर्ड्स एंड बिहेवियर कल सारा दिन में मेरा कौन सा कर्मा था जिसको हम परफेक्ट नहीं बोल सकते और हम सबको पता है हा कौन सा परफेक्ट होता है कौन सा नहीं चेक कर लो कौन सा कर्मा नोट करना पॉइंट चेक करना क्योंकि इसको चेंज करना आज दैट इज हाउ आई विल चेंज माय डेस्टिनी आई कैन गो टू समबडी एंड से मेरी डेस्टिनी और अच्छी बना दो I have to change my destiny in those little little things which I want to make better. जो perfect हैं उनको perfect रखना है और जो perfect नहीं है उनको perfect बनाना है So किस किस को मिला सबको मिला Anybody wants to write in two words what was my not good karma yesterday? वो दूसरों को भी याद आ जाएगा कि मैंने कौन सा not good karma किया था कल लिखो 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 प्रोकेस्टिनेशन यस बिहेवियर अच्छी बात लिखा है लेकिन उसमें भी स्पेसिफिक लिखना अपने लिए कि वॉट बिहेवियर वॉज नॉट राइट एस्टडे मिस बिहेवियर इज जेनरिक वर्ड अपने लिए लिखो भले यू डोंट राइट ऑन द चैट राइट इट फॉर योर सेल्फ कौन सा मेरा बिहेवियर राइट नहीं था बिज आई हैेक एंड चेंज दैट सो ऑल दैट आई हैव टू डू is just check my karma change check my karma change check my karma change anger and fight yeah not following rules given by my coach how sweet yes argument ha ah. i drank tea in the night okay acha while everybody is writing aditya you want to share something 
I yell that my kid hit him, slept less. See such a long list of my good, not good karmas. Hand ji aditte. So something I got from this very classic movie Forrest Gump. I'm sure everyone has watched it. So ma'am, basically in it there is a conflict of interest between Captain Dan and Forrest's mother. Captain Dan was raised in a military family, and um, basically he thought that his like destiny by birth was to get glory for his nation and die on the battlefield. And Forrest's mother taught him that his destiny was whatever he wanted it to be this was going to be determined by that so of course in the end his mother's words were right also ma'am while you were talking about um, god not being responsible for this um this is something which i also wanted to say during day one until the ma'am session but i guess i was not having very good internet so ma'am there's this very famous book chanda hamara kaam hai shiv mangal singh so much so there is this There is this uh, stanza in it. Is Vishad Vishu Prahar me kisko nahi behna pada? Sukh dukh hamari hi tara kisko nahi sehna pada? Fir fir vyarth me kyu firu? Mujh par mujh par vidhata vam hai chalna hamara kam. Hmm. So basically, yes, ma'am. Um, that yes. why should I? Everyone Absolutely. has had. Absolutely. Yes. Bhagwan ko. भगवान को भाग्य विधाता कहते हैं है ना भगवान को भाग्य विधाता कहते हैं सो वी थॉट भाग्य विधाता मतलब वो हमारा भाग्य लिखते हैं विधा विधाता वर्ड कम्स फ्रॉम विधान विधान मीन्स द मेथड सो भाग्य विधाता विच मीन्स भगवान वो है जो हमें भाग्य लिखना सिखाते हैं लाइक अ टीचर लाइक अ पेरेंट like a teacher like a friend like but someone who is teaching me the vidhan kehte hai na vidhi vidhan isko karne ka vidhi vidhan kya hai to bhagya likhne ka vidhan kya hai so bhagwan jaise parent okay like visualize you and your parent aapke parent aapko keh sakte hain bachcha pad lo bachcha pad lo bas thode din bache hain pad lo फिर वो आपके साथ बैठ भी सकते हैं आपको जितनी देर चाहिए वो आपके साथ बैठेंगे आपको जो खाना है पीना है वो आपके लिए बनाएंगे अगर आप रात को जागेंगे तो वो आपके साथ रात को भी जागेंगे क्योंकि आपका कल एग्जाम है सो so, पेरेंट्स क्या दे सकते हैं हमें पेरेंट्स हमें ज्ञान दे सकते हैं विच मीन्स द नॉलेज वॉट इज राइट वॉट इज नॉट राइट दूसरा पेरेंट्स हमें क्या दे सकते हैं पेरेंट्स हमें प्यार देते हैं और तीसरा पेरेंट्स हमें क्या देते हैं पावर देते हैं सपोर्ट देते हैं शक्ति देते हैं लेकिन क्या पेरेंट्स आपके लिए पढ़ के कल आपका एग्जाम दे सकते हैं नहीं दे सकते सेम विद गॉड सेम विद गॉड एंड ही सेड दिस लाइक गॉड विल टीच अस हाउ टू कैच अ फिश फ्रॉम अ रिवर बट ही विल नॉट दिस स्टेट अवे गिव अस द फिश तो भगवान हमें क्या दे सकते हैं so that's why i always call god gps gps kya hota hai gyan pyar aur shakti teen cheeze chahiye hoti hain jeevan ke andar gyan pyar aur shakti to bhagwan hame gyan dete hain right karma not so right karma phir pyar dete hain that pyar is very empowering and shakti dete hain all of us know which karma is not right but wo kya kare ho gaya mujhse abhi jaise ye puri lambi hamari list likal ke aayi hai Quarrel, argument, fighting, ये लिस्ट किसी और ने तो बताई नहीं है हमने खुद ही लिख दी अपनी लिस्ट विच मीन्स आई नो विच कर्मा इज नॉट राइट बट इफ आई नो विच कर्मा इज नॉट राइट वाई डिड आई डू इट ये स्टडे बिकॉज मेरे पास शक्ति की कमी है सो आई नो आई शुड नॉट गेट एंग्री विच मीन्स आई हैव द ज्ञान दैट आई शुड नॉट गेट एंग्री बट क्या करूं गुस्सा तो आ गया सो दैट इज द पावर दैट वी गेट बाई कनेक्टिंग टू गॉड सो इट्स लाइक जीपीएस ना जीपीएस को ऑन कर दो अपने आप अपने आप अपने आप अपने आप हम पहुंच जाएंगे लाइफ में ट्राई रास्ते पे तो भगवान के साथ कनेक्शन को ऑन करना है भगवान के साथ कनेक्शन को ऑन करना है तो जब हम परमात्मा जो सिखाते हैं वो रोज पढ़ते हैं परमात्मा को हम याद करते हैं तो परमात्मा की शक्तियों को हम अपने अंदर भरते हैं परमात्मा के प्यार को हम अपने अंदर भरते हैं सो आई द बींग बिकम सो पावरफुल then i can implement the right karma and then when i implement the right karma and somebody says aapne to bahut acha kiya 
तो वट डू यू से यू से इट्स ऑल बिकॉज ऑफ माई पेरेंट्स एंड टीचर्स हम बोलते हैं ना ऐसा इट्स ऑल बिकॉज ऑफ माई पेरेंट्स एंड टीचर्स बट माई पेरेंट्स एंड टीचर्स डिड नॉट गिव द एग्जाम आई गिव द एग्जाम then why do i still give my credit to my parents and teachers because parents and teachers gave me the gyan the love the support and the shakti so i give the credit to the parents and teachers similarly because god gives us the knowledge the love and the shakti so jab kuch acha hota hai hum kehte bhagwan ki kripa parmatma ki kripa hai ye so we give the credit there lekin phir jab kuch sahi nahi hota to hum blame bhi udhar dal dete hain so we have to be very clear ki bhagwan hame gyan pyar aur shakti dete hain isliye usko bhagya vidhata kaha jata hai bhagya vidhata vidhan likhne wala lekin wo bhagya likhta nahi hai which means god cannot go and give my exam tomorrow cannot i can meditate i can connect to god i can increase my concentration i can increase my focus i can do good behavior and then when i sit to study my mind will be very peaceful and calm tomorrow i'll perform well that is fine but god or my parent or my teacher cannot go tomorrow and give my exam mera karma to mujhe hi karna hai mera karma to mujhe hi karna hai wo koi aur nahi kar sakta hai so the focus now that little list that we have created of my not very good karmas of yesterday now i choose at least one out of that and i'm sure a similar situation will come today or tomorrow and today i'm going to change the way i throw the ball the other person might not change so why did i argue yesterday or why did i quarrel yesterday i'll say bhaiya ne aisa kaha didi ne aisa kaha mere friend ne aisa kiya their karma their choice now this is where the next responsibility is coming i cannot say they did like this so i did the wrong karma no blame game they did like this so i got angry no i will have to remember my karma writes my destiny ab kya ye ho sakta hai ki samne wala kuch galat tarah se baat kare aur hum uske sath pyar se baat kare ye ho sakta hai samne wala samne wala means your friend your sibling kuch aise hi masti kar di daant diya chilla diya aapka kuch khinch liya kuch choti choti baatein koi zyada badi wali baatein nahi abhi to choti choti baatein samne wale ne kuch acha karm nahi kiya so now look at this two one is the other person one is i this person did not do a very good karma can i do a good perfect karma in return very good our ball is in our hand this is the power our ball is in our hand so someone did not throw a very good ball but hum kaun si galti karte hain agar unhone achhi nahi feki to hum bhi kya kar dete hain hum unse bhi buri fek dete hain hum unse bhi buri fek dete hain kai baar unhone do line boli hoti hai hum char line bol dete hain gussa karke hota hai na we choose our karma now so now this is so one is to understand i create my destiny second is it's in my karma my thoughts words behavior are my karma but the most important thing is how to do that right karma throughout the day especially when someone around you is not doing the right karma so now the focus is going to be completely on me so ab if i want to increase my focus and concentration a simple hai jo bahuton ne likha i want to increase my focus and concentration in my destiny which means i will have to change my karma done so what do i have to change my karma focus and concentration so i need my mind to be very calm very stable very powerful ab suppose maine quarrel kiya ya maine argue kiya so what have i done to my focus and concentration what did i do to my focus and concentration to maine khud hi usko hila diya khud hi usko hila diya lekin us time maine kaha उन्होंने ऐसा किया था इसलिए मैंने ऐसा कहा इसलिए मैंने ऐसा किया सो टुडे नेक्स्ट वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इक्वेशन आई विल नॉट स्पॉइल माय कर्मा जस्ट बिकॉज समबडी एल्स इज नॉट डूइंग द राइट कर्मा दैट्स अ फंडामेंटल वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इक्वेशन आई विल नॉट स्पॉइल माय कर्मा आई विल ऑलवेज डू द राइट कर्मा दिस इज पावर this is power 
I will always do the right karma, even if somebody else is doing something different. Why? My karma is my destiny. Their karma, they are choosing. And when we do right karma, then we also do right karma. Karna aa jata hai. It's very important. Now let's look at some of the list of these subtle, not very good karmas. Quarrel, we know that we have quarreled, argued. Did you give a little answer to your mom and dad? मम्मी पापा को अच्छे से जवाब नहीं दिया जब मम्मी पापा ने कुछ कहा कभी कभी क्या होता है होता है कभी कभी कि मम्मी पापा एक गुस्सा कर देते हैं होता है ना कभी कभी कि मम्मी पापा जोर से कुछ बोल देते हैं कुछ कभी कभी डांट देते हैं कभी कभी क्रिटिसाइज भी कर देते हैं क्या है तुम्हें कुछ नहीं आता तुम कुछ नहीं ठीक से करते कर देते हैं कभी कभी क्यों कर देते हैं करना वैसे भी नहीं चाहिए लेकिन क्यों कर देते हैं बहुत मन थका हुआ है They're very stressed about something else at their work. So it's okay. They will get okay in a few minutes. But just because they say something like this to me, and then I either speak back, not in a very good way, or I sulk and I stop talking to them, or I start crying, or I lock my door and go inside, are any of these options a good ball? A good ball? Okay, so just let's visualize a scene. Ke kal sham ko mere mummy papa ghar aaye, but one of them was not right to me. Matlab unhone gussa kar diya, kuch daant diya, kuch zor se bol diya, any of those typical things that keeps happening. What would be my right karma? What is my right karma in that situation? So we have to start making our list of right, perfect karmas to create a perfect destiny. भाई मेरी गलती नहीं थी मतलब मैं तो ऐसे ही बैठी हुई थी बट उन्होंने आके ना ऐसे ही बोल दिया जोर से थोड़ा सा सो वॉट कुड बी माई परफेक्ट कर्मा इन दैट सिचुएशन टू अंडरस्टैंड दे आर स्ट्रेस्ड एंड ट्राई आर बेस्ट टू चेयर देम अप वेरी गुड डाइजेस्टिंग द फैक्ट दैट इट इज फॉर आर बेनिफिट ओ वेरी गुड गिव देम लव गिव देम वॉटर to stay calm very good dekha very good to stay calm and to understand them press their feet oh beautiful try to understand why they did it so very good not to absorb the energy to be polite aapne dekha hame sare answer pata hai we don't need anyone to tell us what is good karma what is not good karma we know it all to understand and make them relaxed such a beautiful karma aise wali ball agar kisi ne fek di na ke samne wale ne papa mummy ne gussa kiya aur humne bola aa jao aur baith jao main aapke pair daba deta hu to to aapne destiny likh li apni badhiya wali forever because you have understood then that it's not that they were shouting at me it's that they are in pain this is called compassion this is called compassion understanding if we are not able to understand our parents our friends tomorrow how will we understand other people empathy yes empathy means to understand what they are going through acha suppose ye bhi ho sakta hai kabhi ki hamari ma'am ne gussa kar diya fir hum kya kare ma'am bhi to gussa kar sakti hai kabhi kabhi wo bhi to pareshan hoti hai na ye itni sari ek class chhodti hai dusri class jati hai teesri class jati hai idhar kuch hua udhar kuch hua तो कभी कभी वो भी गुस्सा कर सकते हैं तब वॉट इज गुड कर्मा अब उनके तो पैर नहीं दबाने हमने जाके क्लास में तो उनका गुड कर्मा क्या है लिसन एंड अंडरस्टैंड द मीनिंग वेरी गुड रिस्पेक्ट हर फीलिंग वेरी स्वीट बी क्वाइट एट दैट टाइम स्टे पॉजिटिव एंड ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड वेरी गुड अप्रिशिएट ऑल दैट शी डज फॉर अस वेरी गुड to give her good respectful answers to do something which makes her calm very good to take criticism positively a warm hug are wa very cute very cute so let's let's cut, let's check this with the teachers here okay would you like it if the child comes and hugs you if they are shouting at them how many would be happy with that comfortable with that let's get the answer taki hamara karma galat na ho kal yes वो दीदी ये तो बहुत अच्छा वाला है हु केव अप विद दिस आंसर टू गो एंड हागा टीचर ये तो बहुत मेरे को पहले पता होता तो मैं स्कूल में कर लेती मैंने किया नहीं 
दिस इज हाउ लाइफ इज सो सिंपल लाइफ इज सो सिंपल कितना ईजी होता है वेन एवर समबडी इज नॉट डूइंग द परफेक्ट कर्मा विच मीन्स दे आर हर्ट और दे आर अपसेट और दे आर स्ट्रेस्ड और दे आर एंग्री एनी थिंग इट मीन्स फॉर दोज फ्यू मिनट्स देर माइंड इज नॉट हैप्पी राइट नाउ किसी ना किसी वजह से परेशान है वट डज दी अदर पर्सन हैव टू डू the other person has to keep their mind perfect and then all these answers which you have written to understand them to respect them to hug them to be polite to them to understand what they are saying this is good karma so which means even if the other side the other side could be my parent could be my teacher could be my brother or sister could be my friend anybody the other side is not doing something which i like but yet i can do good karma this is power for a lifetime for a lifetime you have to hold on to this equation that i can be compassionate this is compassion understanding others pain understanding that they right now they are upset about something they are disturbed about something remembering all the all the long long list of the good things that they do for us every day and not get affected by that one minute of their reaction this is good karma this is compassion this is empathy compassion is the most beautiful quality compassion jo hum create karte hai na to hum generally compassionate hote hain when someone doesn't have something to hame koi dikhta hai jiske paas khane ko nahi hai to hum khana dete hain kisi ke paas paise nahi hum paise dete hain kisi ke paas kapde nahi hai hum kapde dete hain lekin किसी के पास खुशी नहीं है एक मिनट के लिए तो उसको बहुत सारी खुशी दे देनी है उस टाइम दैट इज कंपैशन फिजिकल थिंग्स वी कैन सी दैट दिस वन डजेंट हैव इट आई हैव टू गिव इट दिस इज गुड कर्मा बट मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट इज राइट नाउ दिस पर्सन इज अपसेट और अनहैप्पी आई हैव टू गिव लॉट ऑफ लव टू दैम लॉट ऑफ हैप्पीनेस टू दैम दैट इज बेस्ट कर्मा दैट इज बेस्ट कर्मा सो इज इट ईजी टू डू गुड कर्मा थ्रू आउट द डे Easy to do do good karma throughout the day. Yes, अब हमारी rating change होती जाएगी ना अपने आप because I am going to start focusing. अब भी पहले हम क्या करते थे? ऐसे कैसे मुझे गुस्सा कर दिया और सबके सामने गुस्सा कर दिया and I can sulk a little bit. Or sometimes I don't obey. Or sometimes I get hurt. Or sometimes I cry also. Or sometimes I say oh, I don't like this ma'am. She keeps shouting at me. Disrespect. Disrespect. तो हमारी तरफ से कभी भी गलत बॉल नहीं जाना है ओके ना वेन आई डू गुड कर्मा सी वॉट इज हैपनिंग मैजिकल इक्वेशन इट इज सॉरी वेरी गुड सॉरी जरूर बोलना चाहिए वेन आई डू गुड कर्मा फर्स्ट आई क्रिएट द राइट एनर्जी सो इट्स गुड कर्मा नाउ इमेजिन दैट योर मम्मी पापा व गुस्सा विद यू और योर टीचर मैम वॉज गुस्सा विद यू and you were very respectful and very polite very nice to them to so, aapko unse kya milega one is your good karma but ab unse kya milega unse kya milega us time ab ye answer likho ye answer bahut important hai love very good blessings blessings is the word bless we will get energy yeah so that energy is the energy of blessings that energy is the energy of blessings so double benefit ho jata hai good karma karne se badi win win situation hai good karma karna so good karma means while i am creating the good karma to bhi mera profit hai kyunki maine good karma create kar diya aur second is what am i getting from there blessings this increases my energy so life ka ek hi purpose bana lena chahiye people keep saying what's the purpose of my life purpose of my life is to do such karmas which always get me blessings from people har karm blessings lekar aaye aapke jeevan ke andar duaye duaye aapko pata hai duaye impossible ko possible kar deti hai aur sambhav sambhav ho jata hai blessing se so it earn a lot of blessings in your life marks are very important tomorrow what you become is very important day after tomorrow in your profession how much you earn is very important but 
most important is the blessings you earn from your karma. Is the blessings you earn from your karma. So always do that karma which is going to earn you blessings. Even if that karma means being nice to a plant. Ek paudha hai, thoda sa aise ho gaya. Hum aise hi usko cross kar dete hain. Agar hum chalte hai, uske patte ko thoda sa thik kar dete This creates a nature of being caring and compassionate in me. So always do that karma which creates blessings in your life. So marks bahut sare lane hai. Lekin marks se bhi zyada blessings bahut sare lane hai. Duaay. Sab ki duaay aani chahiye meri life ke andar. Har ek mujhe duaay de, duaay de, duaay de. Aapko pata hai duaay ek aur miracle create kar sakti hai. Blessings increases my concentration power because blessings is energy. Blessings is energy. So earn a lot of blessings. Okay, so we could be compassionate to our parents. We could be compassionate to our teacher, ma'am. So I'm sure we can be compassionate to our bhaiya, didi, and to our friends. Ya vahan jagda kar lenge. Vahan kya karenge? Kyunki ye to bade the. Ab ye to apne jitne hai. Vahan pe bhi compassion. Ya vahan jagda jagda. Even agar kabhi kuch ho jata hai na. Even agar kuch ho jata hai. Be the first one to say sorry immediately. Matlab immediately change your karma. So which means if I do throw a wrong ball, which means I react or I get angry or I shout or whatever, whatever. Immediately change karo ab usko jaldi se. Ke ek ball to galat bhej di hai, lekin ab fata fata se dousri ball to achche bhej sakte hai na? Dousri ball to achche bhej sakte hai? So even if I may, so this is my life, I have to keep checking that I'm doing the right karma and if it's wrong karma, then I'll change the wrong karma quickly. Right karma. Not let the wrong karma continue for very long. So one wrong ball has gone, away. it doesn't mean 10 more wrong balls have to go after that. You have to check and change. So immediately say sorry. And if somebody else is saying sorry, in fact, don't even wait for somebody else to say sorry. Just forgive people. Well, it's okay. Ho gaya. Khatam karte hain baat ko. Finished. Agar aap baaton ko khatam karte jayain jaldi. Which means put a full stop. It's over. It's done. Finished. It's going to increase your concentration and focus. Lekin agar hum baaton ko pakad ke rakte hain. You know what? That day my mummy said this in front of everybody. Do you know what? That day ma'am said this in class to me in front of... I know people who at the age of 40, 50 are holding something that happened when they were children. They're still holding it. Okay, my mummy, papa gave more to my brother and sister, less to me. They paid more attention towards that, less to me. All strange things we hold since childhood. That is a very important karma. A very important. What if they wrong us again in the same manner? Ye bhi baat sahi hai. Ke unho ne ek baar wrong kiya, hum ne achi wali ball bheji. Phir unho ne phir se wrong kiya, hum ne phir se achi wali ball bheji. Phir agar wo karte gai wrong, to hume kya karna hai? Aur kab tak hum ne unke wrong ke return mein achi ball bhejni hai? Wo wrong wali bhej rahe hai, hum achi wali bhej rahe hai. We have to understand what is coming from the other side is if it's a behavior okay if it's the way they behave the way they speak we cannot change people's behavior we cannot change people's behavior the only way we can to a certain extent influence people's behavior is by praying for them by meditating for them by sending blessings to them and remaining positive about them but if somebody is uh, what word would I say for children? Which means if somebody is just behaving not right, we will always remain right. But if somebody is doing something which is unethical, unethical, okay, so you'll have to differentiate between wrong behavior and unethical. If somebody is exploiting me, if somebody is being unethical, 
तो तब कभी भी चुप नहीं रहना तब कभी भी चुप नहीं रहना देन यू हैव टू गो एंड टॉक अबाउट इट यू डोट हैव टू रिएक्ट एंड रिटेलिएट इन द सेम वे दैट तो वी आर नेवर गोइंग टू डू फॉर एनी बडी एंड फॉर एनी थिंग बट यू हैव टू गो एंड टॉक अबाउट इट लेकिन टिट फॉर टैट उसने ऐसा किया तो मैंने भी ऐसा किया दिस पॉइल्स आर डेस्टिनी दिस पॉइल्स आर डेस्टिनी वी आर नॉट गोइंग टू डू टिट फॉर टैट टिट फॉर टैट मतलब सामने वाले ने पत्थर मारा तो मैंने और बड़ा पत्थर मारा बड़ा पत्थर मतलब रॉन्ग कर्मा लेकिन सामने वाले ने पत्थर मारा तो हमने फूल दे देने उनको फूल दे देने मतलब ब्लेसिंग्स दे देने बी करेजेस टू स्टैंड फॉर द राइट एग्जैक्टली बी करेजेस टू स्टैंड फॉर द राइट सो विच मीन्स इफ समथिंग इज नॉट करेक्ट इवन इफ वी आर अलोन वी नीड टू स्टैंड फॉर द राइट दैट इज गुड कर्मा दैट इज गुड कर्मा समटाइम्स वी आर अलोन यू नो कोई भी और हमारी साइड पे नहीं होता है कोई भी नहीं हमारी साइड पर होता क्योंकि मेजोरिटी दूसरी साइड पर होते हैं इवन समथिंग लाइक ऑल माई फ्रेंड्स आर थिंकिंग ऑफ डूइंग समथिंग बट आई नो इट्स नॉट राइट कर्मा आई नो आई एम नॉट इट्स नॉट राइट कर्मा सो आई एम गोइंग टू स्टैंड फॉर द राइट इवन इफ आई एम दी ओनली वन नॉट गेटिंग अफेक्टेड बाय what people around me in terms of my friends or so called peer pressure not getting affected by peer pressure is a very good karma very good karma ya matlab comparison ke mummy ko jaake bolna unke paas sabke paas wo hai to mujhe bhi chahiye unhone apna birthday aise celebrate kiya to mujhe bhi karna hai wo udhar holiday ke liye gaye to mujhe bhi karna hai ye jo comparison and peer pressure hai this is not very good karma so untouched by comparison untouched by a comparison we should stand for the right karma and if someone is doing anything unethical then we have to talk talk means talk to our teachers talk to our parents depends on if it's in school or it's somewhere around home we have to talk tab nahi dabna tab nahi darna kabhi bhi तब नहीं सोचना हाँ मैं इनके साथ अच्छे से बिहेव करूं दे आर बींग अन एथिकल दे आर एक्सप्लोइटिंग मी तब नहीं कभी भी पर लेकिन कोई गुस्सा कर रहा है कोई जोर से बोल रहा है ओ दैट्स ओके हम अच्छे से बिहेव कर सकते हैं उनके साथ लेकिन कोई मुझे हिट कर रहा है कुछ ऐसे रॉन्ग कर रहा है जो मुझे हार्म कर सकता है तो तब हम चुप नहीं रहेंगे लेकिन हम तब उनको रॉन्ग बिहेव नहीं करेंगे हम सिर्फ जाके किसी को बता देंगे किसी को मतलब बड़ों को स्कूल में है तो टीचर्स को बताएंगे घर पे है तो मम्मी पापा को बताएंगे बस हमारा कर्मा उधर तक है हमने बड़ों को बता दिया फिर तो बड़े हमारा ध्यान रखेंगे बट आई डोंट डू द टिट फॉर टैट दैट आई हैव टू टेक केयर आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू डू दैट बिकॉज दैट स्पॉइल्स माय कर्मा दैट स्पॉइल्स माय एनर्जी दैट स्पॉइल्स माई एनर्जी सो टू क्रिएट द राइट कर्मा वॉट वॉज द सोर्स वॉज राइट थॉट्स राइट थॉट्स सो सबसे ज्यादा मुझे फोकस इस बात पर करना है दैट हाउ डू आई क्रिएट द राइट थॉट्स ऑलवेज राइट थॉट्स हो गई तो राइट वर्ड्स एंड बिहेवियर तो अपने आप हो जाते हैं वट एवर इज हैपनिंग इन माई माइंड वल कम इन माई वर्ड्स तो राइट थॉट्स हो गई तो राइट वर्ड्स एंड बिहेवियर्स तो अपने आप हो जाते हैं अब हाउ टू क्रिएट राइट थॉट्स दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट हाउ टू क्रिएट राइट थॉट्स What is the source of right thoughts? Yeah, right thoughts come by blessings, definitely. So that is a result of good karma that I get blessings, and then I'm able to create more good karma. What is the source of our thoughts? Very, very important for everybody today, especially children. Why do I think negative? Why do I get angry? Why do I get irritated? Why am I rude? Why do I criticize? ये क्यों आ रहा है मेरे अंदर? Why am I not focused? Why am I creating so many thoughts? so what is the source of my thoughts the source of my thoughts is content content information information means everything that i watch read listen everything that i watch read listen to ye hamari responsibility hai so actually this is the most important karma taking care of what i take in in terms of content because that content will create thoughts thoughts will create karma karma will create destiny so i have to first take content how to limit or zero your thoughts 
on zero your thoughts. You can reduce the number of your thoughts by creating the right quality of your thoughts. Aap kabhi bhi dekhna, when you are creating good quality thoughts, the number is less. Ye baat achche hai, ye jagah baat achche hai. Ise achche achche thoughts create karte hai, the number is less. But if I'm not creating the right thoughts, isne aisa kyun kiya, waisa kyun kiya, aise kaise kar sakte hai, waise kaise, the number is very high. So quantity and quality is connected. Thoughts may quantity and quality is connected. So quantity may not work. Kar sakte. How do I reduce my thinking? Check the quality. Quality ko write kar do. Number of thoughts will reduce. Quality jab negative ho jati hai. Number of thoughts is high. That is why lack of focus, lack of concentration, which means number of thoughts is high. Distraction, number of thoughts is high. And that means I need to change the quality. But how do I change? How do I get into my head and change my thoughts ka quality? So I only need to check the quality of my content. Content. Ab hum sabko pata na, humara content kya hai? How much content we consume during the day? Hum sabko pata hai. So everything, ye to aap apne room mein na ek poster bana ke rakh lena, ta ki aapko time to time wo dikhai de jaye. Everything I watch, I read, I listen. What I watch, what I read, what I listen becomes my thoughts and my thoughts becomes my destiny, my karma and my destiny. So actually content can change my destiny. How much power content has? And we see what we do. We sit with the phone, we see it like this. इंटरनेट के साथ बैठते हैं ऐसे ही माउस को घुमाते रहते हैं टीवी के सामने बैठते हैं चैनल चेंज करते रहते हैं ऐसे ही अपने हम अंदर भरते जा रहे हैं एंड वट एवर आई एम कंज्यूमिंग इज बिकमिंग माई थॉट माई थॉट इज बिकमिंग माई कर्मा माई कर्मा इज बिकमिंग माई डेस्टिनी सो एक्चुअली इतना ईजी है अच्छी डेस्टिनी लिखना जस्ट फर्स्ट टेक केयर ऑफ द कॉन्टेंट दैट यूर कंज्यूमिंग स्पेशली Living in a world where we're flooded with content, we're flooded with content. Or ऐसे ऐसे जैसे जैसे आप बड़े होंगे, तो amount of content will only increase. ये कभी कम नहीं होगा अब. अभी कम नहीं होगा. It's not going to go in the other direction. It's only going to increase. Now, content could be from phone, from TV, from internet, from people around me. What I'm talking to people. So even conversation is a content. The books that I read, the books that I read, the movies that I watch, the songs that I listen to. अब अगर हम भजन सुनेंगे, है ना? अगर हम एक prayer वाला गाना सुनेंगे, तो उसमें हर word कौन सी energy का होगा? हम सबको पता ना? उसमें हर word कौन सी energy का होगा? बड़ी divine energy का होगा। तो हमें कुछ करना नहीं है। but when I am listening to a bhajan, and I am listening to a divine song, apne aap, I have to do nothing. Apne aap, divine energy is going inside me, and it's going inside me, and it's creating my thoughts. Tomorrow it will come out in my karma in some way. Ab suppose hum koi aur gana sun rahe, aur wo gana thoda sa different wordings ka hai, wo bhi create kar raha hai. वो भी क्या क्रिएट कर रहा है इट्स क्रिएटिंग माई डेस्टिनी सो आज से सबसे इंपॉर्टेंट चीज अपने कर्मा को परफेक्ट करने के लिए लिटिल स्ट्रिक्ट विद योर सेल्फ दैट वॉट इज द कॉन्टेंट दैट आई एम गोइंग टू कंज्यूम डोंट वरी अबाउट वट योर फ्रेंड्स आर कंज्यूमिंग दिस इज वेयर वी आर नॉट गोइंग टू गेट अफेक्टेड बाई पी प्रेशर सपोज योर फ्रेंड से मैंने वो वाली मूवी देखी आपने देखी इट डजेंट मैटर इफ आई से नहीं देखी नहीं देखी बोले कैसे नहीं देखी क्यों नहीं देखी बस मेरा मन नहीं है देखने का मुझे नहीं देखनी दिस इज वेर आई हैव टू बी स्ट्रिक्ट सो इफ आई एम कंज्यूमिंग कॉन्टेंट विच हैज एंगर वायलेंस फियर Criticism, making fun of people, being disrespectful, shouting, 
anything stress worry fear if i am consuming that content that will become my thoughts and if that becomes my thoughts then that is the ball i throw out and that is the destiny which comes in that is the destiny which comes in so just be little strict about of course we all read very good quality books read very good quality books you know when i was in school hamare paas sirf books hi hoti thi us time pe koi tv nahi tha phone nahi tha internet nahi tha to hame to kuch mehnat zyada karni nahi padi actually but aapko karni hai mehnat nahi hai dhyan rakhna hai just take care just take care that you don't necessarily have to watch everything that everybody around you is watching now suppose uh, your friend goes and creates your classmate goes and creates their own instagram handle ab unhone account banaya to mujhe bhi banana hai mujhe bhi banana hai apna unhone apna facebook page banaya to mujhe bhi banana hai kyun kyun pata hai ये सब जो सोशल मीडिया हैंडल्स हैं ये किस लिए बने थे ये बने थे उन लोगों के लिए जो अपने फ्रेंड्स से दूर हो गए थे है ना बड़े हो जाते हैं ना हम दूर हो जाते हैं अपने फ्रेंड्स से कोई किसी कॉलेज में चला गया कोई किसी कॉलेज में चला गया कोई भारत से बाहर चला गया हम भारत में तो हम सब थोड़े दूर दूर हो जाते हैं सो सम वन क्रिएटेड दी सोशल मीडिया हैंडल सो दैट वी कुड कनेक्ट टू पीपल होम बी हैड मूव अवे फ्रॉम बट स्कूल में हम किससे दूर हुए स्कूल में हम किससे दूर हुए जिनको हमें ढूंढना है सोशल मीडिया के ऊपर हम किससे दूर हुए हमारे सारे फ्रेंड्स हमारे साथ ही हैं एवरी वन इज अराउंड अस वाई डू आई नीड टू गो इन सोशल मीडिया टू कनेक्ट विद पीपल और टू कनेक्ट विद स्ट्रेंजर्स इट्स नॉट फॉर दिस एज ऑफ लाइफ एंड ये सोशल मीडिया ऐसी चीज है इट्स ऑल्सो अफेक्टिंग द अडल्ट सो यू कैन नॉट इवन इज है योर माइंड it's also affecting adults their focus their concentration distraction woh do minute bhi silent ho ke nahi baithte fir se idhar udhar dekhne lag jate hain woh fir se phone utha lete hain so it's even affecting the adults to socho hum bachcho ke mind pe kitna asar pad raha hoga iska now what does social media you know what what thoughts it creates in me social media creates thoughts of comparison in me कंपेरिजन क्रिएट हो जाता है उनके इतने हैं फॉलोअर्स मेरे कितने हैं उसकी पोस्ट पे इतने लाइक्स आए मेरे पोस्ट पे कितने लाइक्स आए सो so, सबसे इम्पोर्टेंट नेचर या पर्सनालिटी वॉट इज गेटिंग क्रिएटेड विद सोशल मीडिया इज कंपेरिजन सो एंड सो वेंट टू सो एंड सो प्लेस फॉर अ हॉलीडे वाई कैन माई पेरेंट्स नॉट टेक मी देयर फॉर अ हॉलीडे so and so person went out for dinner to so and so restaurant why can't why is my mummy making dal and sabji for me at home this is sara din comparison sara din comparison hai har baat mein so and so person bought a new phone or a new car or whatever why do i not have so it makes me very unhappy with my life makes me very unhappy with my life because i feel everybody has such good things and i don't have it so the most important sanskar that it creates is comparison jahan comparison aayega wahan jealousy apne aap aa jayegi apne aap hi aa jayegi and third very important sanskar it creates is this is a little deeper but you hold on to it and check it in your life especially for children what it makes me become is it makes me dependent on people to like me है ना आपने कुछ पोस्ट किया आपने कुछ डाला तो वो डालने पे खत्म नहीं हो जाता आप वेट करते हैं कि उसको कितने लोगों ने लाइक किया ये जो कितने लोगों ने लाइक किया है ना दिस मेक्स मी डिपेंडेंट ऑन पीपल टू लाइक मी तो हम सारा दिन वो चीजें कर रहे हैं वैसे वाली फोटोज खींच रहे हैं वैसे वाले वीडियोज बना रहे हैं छोटी छोटी चीजें जो कर रहे हैं सो दैट मोर पीपल विल लाइक मी please remember i have to do good karma my good karma creates my destiny i don't have to do anything i have to do nothing so that i get more likes on any social media handle i don't have to do nothing for that mere wo jo social media pe likes hai na usse destiny nahi banti meri nahi banti hai 
उससे डेस्टिनी उल्टा थोड़ी सी ऑपोजिट हो जाती है बिकॉज आई स्टार्ट डूइंग थिंग्स विच पीपल वुल लाइक I start doing things. I change my personality. Actually, I start doing things which people will like. So, ideally, I feel social media should have had an age group. Okay, below this age, you cannot even have your own account. होना नहीं चाहिए. School में तो होना ही नहीं चाहिए. होना नहीं चाहिए. Because this is not the age to go and compare yourself with people. to go and say oh how many people are liking me how many friends do i have strangers i don't even know them and i'm chatting with them ye sab hum agar karenge na school mein to fir hamari concentration high kaise ho sakti hai kyunki ye sab karke to badon ki concentration bhi thodi si heli hui hai heli hui hai you know ek uh, ek documentary i think i haven't watched it but i know that one line which has come in the documentary and that documentary said these applications which means a lot of applications which we have on our phone i won't name them these applications are designed to manipulate our mind isko likh lena they are designed to manipulate our mind and you know who made the movie the people who worked in those companies which we use on our phones and they said it's designed to manipulate our mind manipulate our mind means it's addictive आप एक बार देखते हैं फिर आपका और मन करता है देखने का फिर वही चीज फिर से आती है फिर आपका और मन करता है देखने का किस किस को लगता है इंटरनेट सोशल मीडिया ये यूट्यूब चैनल ये सब अडिक्टिव है है ना जब हम बच्चे थे ना तब सिर्फ चिप्स ही अडिक्टिव थे सिर्फ एक चिप्स खा लो तो और खाने का मन करता है दूसरा खा लो फिर और खाने का मन करता है फिर तीसरा खा लो तो और खाने का मन करता है तो ये चिप्स और ये सब चीजें ही अडिक्टिव थी ये चीजें अडिक्टिव बन गई सो जब हमें पता है ना कि इट इज एन अडिक्शन so any addiction any addiction makes me lose my power any addiction so isliye we will go to watching all these things after we finish our schooling not before that not before that aur agar kuch dekhna bhi hai na so you do not start using it yourself because you can get hooked to it you can get hooked to it we don't want to get hooked to anything so if i want to watch something also while i'm in school then i should just tell my parents that i want to watch this please bring this on the screen and let me see it but i don't get hooked into it because i don't want to become addicted dependent because wo mere man ko khinchta hai it pulls my mind in that direction mera fir se man karega mujhe next wala dekhna hai mujhe aage ka ye dekhna hai mujhe ye wala dekhna hai this is not for us ओटी टी प्लेटफॉर्म डिजिटल प्लेटफॉर्म एक के बाद एक एपिसोड आ रहे हैं इवन आप बच्चों वाले टाइप्स के जो आ रहे हैं बट दे आर अडिक्टिव नो दे आर अडिक्टिव आपके लिए जो परफेक्ट है ना वो आपके टीचर मैम और आपके पेरेंट्स आपको वैसे ही दिखा देंगे वी डोंट हैव टू गो एंड लुक फॉर इट वी डोंट हैव टू लो एंड लुक फॉर इट दे विल शो अस एवरी थिंग दैट इज राइट फॉर अस कार्टून्स कार्टून्स भी अच्छे हैं लेकिन कार्टून्स में भी कोई ना कोई किसी को गिरा रहा है हरा रहा है एंड देन यू नो इवन दोज वीडियो गेम्स विच यू प्ले उसमें भी एक प्रोग्रामिंग हो जाती है कि इफ आई हिट समबडी एंड आई पुल देम डाउन आई विन आई विन मेरे पॉइंट्स मिल जाते हैं मुझे तो ये प्रोग्रामिंग तो गलत है ना बिकॉज इफ दिस गोज इन टू माई थॉट प्रोसेस एंड इट विल कम आउट इन माई कर्मा इट विल कम आउट इन माई कर्मा that if i win over this person then i win then i am a winner then i am successful to fir agar inhone kuch kiya to maine char bar aur zor se bol dena to make them lose and i will win so all there's a whole long list wo list aapko mere se zyada pata hai to don't even know everything that is getting used today by children but you need to make your list you know it very well you don't need anybody to tell you you don't need your mummy papa you don't need your teachers to tell you this is not right for you ये सारे आंसर्स आज आपने लिखे हैं सो यू डोंट नीड एनी बडी टू टेल यू विच इज द राइट कर्मा विच इज नॉट नो बडी नीड्स इट वी ऑल नो वॉट इज नॉट राइट इट्स जस्ट दैट वी गेट अडिक्टेड एंड एनी अडिक्शन टूडे एनी अडिक्शन टूडे विल स्टार्ट मेकिंग मी अ वीकर पर्सन वीकर पर्सन टूमोरो आई गेट अडिक्टेड टू समथिंग एल्स addiction cannot let me be concentrated and focused 
हो ही नहीं सकता सो आज एक चीज छोड़ देते हैं गुड कर्म ऑल दिस कॉन्टेंट कंजम्पन इसको छोड़ देते हैं दिस इज नॉट मेंट फॉर दिस एज दिस इज नॉट मेंट फॉर वेन बी आर इन स्कूल इट्स नॉट मेंट वट एवर एनी बडी माइट से ओ दिस इज कार्टून ओ दिस इज फॉर चिल्ड्रेन ओ दिस इज फॉर इट्स नॉट मेंट वट योर पेरेंट्स एंड वट योर टीचर्स टेल यू अच्छा ये एक एपिसोड आप देख लो या ये एक मूवी आप देख लो या ये देन इट्स ओके बट इफ यू पिक अप अ सीरीज ओ इट्स मेंट फॉर चिल्ड्रेन एंड दैट सीरीज हैज ट्वेंटी एपिसोड एंड यू गेट हुक्ट ऑन टू इट एंड यू कीप वॉचिंग इट वन आफ्टर द इट्स एन अडिक्शन इवन इफ इट वॉज डिजाइन फॉर चिल्ड्रेन बट इफ इट्स डिजाइन इन एन अडिक्टिव मैनर then it's not good for me then it's not good for me anything it might have very good content but if it's designed in an addictive manner where i tend to go back to it i want to go back to it then that is affecting my karma apne karm ka dhyan rakhna karm ka dhyan rakhna bahut important hai is addiction for doing anything good okay that's not called addiction that's called sincerity Addiction means my mind becomes dependent on it. And if I don't get it, then I get disturbed. So if I get disturbed, if I don't do anything good, even that's not right. Even that's not right because getting disturbed means wrong ball going out. Wrong ball going out. I cannot afford to throw a negative ball outside. Okay. So the most important thing that we are going to check is content. Make a whole list of your content, whether it's your video games, whether it's your cartoon shows, whether it's your PlayStation, whether it's your phone, whether even if you're using your parents' phone. But ऐसे ऐसे करने लग गए ना अगर ऐसे 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 addiction, addiction. Do you know what already, already, and in the coming times as you grow older, it's already there outside the country, already started in the country also. they're opening rehab centers how to de-addict ourselves from technology how to de-addict ourselves from all this i mean imagine where will the world go if we do this what will we do so why not be careful why not be careful but wo kya hota hai na it's like any other addiction jab hum shuru karte hain hame lagta hai i'll not get addicted to it i'll not get addicted to it of course we will never reach a stage where we have to go to a rehab center but just spending time and energy and losing my focus that is also a loss na wo bhi to loss hai wo bhi to loss hai phir isse acha khelne jana chahiye na bahar bahar khelne jana chahiye na bajaye ke koi na koi ek screen ko leke pakad ke baith jaye aur screen pe khele screen pe nahi khelna kabhi bhi screen pe nahi khelna kabhi bhi na we have to go out and play with friends not play on the screen anything the screen itself is not a healthy thing actually using a screen itself is not healthy ha covid tha hame padhna pada across screens that's fine but covid is over we are back in school that was a necessity but using screens having phones having notification going pick 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 and my mind going again and again to that this is all a depleter so first take care of content because write the equation content is equal to thoughts is equal to karma is equal to destiny destiny so whatever i am consuming today thinking that this is a time pass tomorrow it will become my destiny especially when you are studying no kai baar kya hota hai hum pad rahe hain pad rahe hain pura din pad rahe hain and then i say i need a little break बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है ऑफ कोर्स आई नीड टू टेक अ लिटिल ब्रेक बट बहुत ध्यान रखना है उस ब्रेक में मुझे करना क्या है इफ आई टेक अ ब्रेक फ्रॉम माई स्टडी स्पेशली ड्यूरिंग एग्जाम टाइम एंड देन आई गो एंड सिट इन फ्रंट ऑफ द टीवी दैट इज अ डिप्लीटर योर ब्रेक शुड बी अ रिलैक्सिंग योर ब्रेक शुड बी एन एनर्जाइजर यू गो फॉर अ वॉक यू नो यू बी विद योर पेरेंट्स कुछ अच्छा पढ़ लो दूसरी बुक पढ़ लो बट टू टेक अ ब्रेक फ्रॉम योर स्टडीज एंड टू गो एंड सिट नेक्स्ट टू द टीवी व्हिच मींस व्हेन यू गो बैक टू योर स्टडीज यू हैव टू वर्क हार्डर बिकॉज यू जस्ट डिस्टर्ब्ड योर माइंड सो टेकिंग अ ब्रेक मींस ओके आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू स्टडी फॉर द नेक्स्ट हाफ एन आवर और वन आवर वट बट आई एम गोइंग टू एनर्जाइज माई माइंड आई एम गोइंग टू स्ट्रेंथन माई माइंड एंड बॉडी एंड कम बैक 
तो मुझे ब्रेक में क्या करना है वो भी मेरे को बहुत क्लियर होना चाहिए हमारी ब्रेक जनरली टीवी की तरफ ले जाती है हमें या हम कहते हैं मम्मी फोन दो ना मैंने आधा घंटा ब्रेक ले लिया तो मम्मी भी सोचती मेरा बच्चा इतना पढ़ रहा है मैं फोन दे देती हूँ दैट्स नॉट अ ब्रेक अ ब्रेक शुड बी एनर्जाइजिंग सो दैट वेन आई कम बैक टू स्टडिंग आई एम लाइक फ्रेश योर नॉट पुल्ड डाउन स्क्रीन्स एंड एनी कॉन्टेंट दैट्स हैपनिंग अक्रॉस स्क्रीन्स इट ओवर पावर्स आर माइंड सो मच इट अफेक्ट्स आर क्रिएटिविटी इट अफेक्ट्स आर इंट्यूशन पावर ऑल्सो इतना नुकसान है इसके तो नुकसान की लिस्ट ही बना लो पूरी एक और फायदे की साइड पे एक भी चीज नहीं है एक भी चीज नहीं है क्योंकि फायदे की जितनी चीजें वो हमें स्कूल में टीचर मैम वैसे ही बता देगी हमें क्यों जाना है हम सब भी तो पढ़े और बड़े हुए ना विदाउट इंटरनेट हम सब भी पढ़ लिए ना विदाउट इंटरनेट क्योंकि हमारी टीचर्स ही हमें सब कुछ पढ़ा देती थी डबल काम कौन करता है बट इंटरनेट पे भी ढूंढने जाओ हर चीज नो नीड टू हमें टीचर मैम ही बता देंगे और टीचर मैम बताएंगे अगर इंटरनेट से कुछ लेकर आना है बता दो वाइज तो इट्स नॉट नीडेड अननेसेसरी ट्राइंग टू कंज्यूम मोर एंड मोर एंड मोर एंड मोर हैव मर्सी ऑन योर माइंड डोंट लेट इट गेट ओवर फटीड इसको थकने नहीं देना इस मन को कभी भी इस मन को थकने नहीं देना बिकॉज दैट इज वेन इट क्रिएट्स टू मच ऑफ एंग्जाइटी आजकल कभी कभी स्कूल में बच्चों को एंग्जाइटी होने लग गई एग्जाम से पहले नॉट गुड राइट ये तो कैसे हो सकता है वाई टायर्ड माइंड अनादर वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट कर्मा इज आर राइट स्लीप साइकिल राइट स्लीप साइकिल सो अ वेरी बिग रीजन फॉर एंग्जाइटी फॉर एंग्जाइटी अटैक बिफोर एन एग्जाम बिफोर अ परफॉर्मेंस इज इम प्रॉपर स्लीप साइकिल आपके आसपास बहुत सारे बच्चे बोल रहे होंगे अरे रात को पढ़ने में बड़ा मजा आता है रात को बड़ी अच्छी पढ़ाई होती है रात को बड़ा साइलेंस होता है डू नॉट बिकम अ विक्टम टू पी अप्रेशन डू नॉट बिकम विक्टम टू पी अप्रेशन साइलेंस सिर्फ ये नहीं चाहिए साइलेंस ये चाहिए रात इज नॉट द टाइम टू स्टडी इट विल अफेक्ट माई माइंड इट विल ऑल्सो अफेक्ट माई बॉडी सो even if all your friends are studying in the night be that one who will stand for the right so early to bed early to rise aise nahi bola gaya aise nahi hai early to bed early to rise makes a person healthy wealthy wise wealthy matlab wealthy in wisdom wealthy in wisdom healthy wealthy and wise If early to bed, early to rise makes a person healthy, wealthy, wise, then late to bed and late to rise. Kya kar dega? Automatically, complete the rest of the line. So whether it's in school, whether it's in college, whether you're tomorrow becoming an engineer, a doctor, a jurist, whichever profession, never study in the night. Raat ko nahi padna. Even if you have an exam tomorrow morning, so instead of studying till two o'clock, sleep at ten and wake up at two o'clock or three o'clock. Even if you have to study in that way. Look, you know what? Finally, sleeping is only so many hours. But how many hours you are sleeping, that is making all the difference. Sleeping is enough, isn't it? There is no such thing as sleeping without sleeping. Tomorrow will be the exam. वो तो मम्मी पापा नहीं करने देंगे सोना तो है ही कल एग्जाम से पहले बट वॉट टाइम आई स्लीप इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सो टेन टू टू दिस टाइम इज द हाइएस्ट एनर्जाइजिंग टाइम फॉर माई स्लीप टेन टू टू डजेंट मीन वी वेक अप एट टू इट जस्ट मीन्स दैट दीज फोर आवर्स वी शुड डेफिनेटली बी अ स्लीप टेन टू टू सो इवन ड्यूरिंग एग्जाम टाइम बाकी डेली तो करना ही है But even during those peak days of studying a lot, go to sleep by ten o'clock, and then wake up depending on how much you have left to study. But don't do it the other way round. कि भाई दे एक बजे तक पढ़ रहे हैं, दो बजे तक पढ़ रहे हैं, फिर सुबह लेट उठ रहे हैं. It will have an effect on the mind. करके देखना है, and make it a habit forever. ऐसे ही नहीं बोला गया है फोर ओ क्लॉक के टाइम को क्या बोला गया है ब्रह्म मुहूर्त ब्रह्म मुहूर्त अमृत वेला अमृत वेला मीन्स टाइम विच इज लाइक नेक्टर अमृत ब्रह्म मुहूर्त मीन्स मुहूर्त टाइम इट्स द हाइएस्ट वाइब्रेशनल मुहूर्त टाइम आउट ऑफ द ट्वेंटी फोर आवर साइकिल सो इफ आई वेक अप एट फोर और फाइव एंड देन आई स्टडी 
थोड़ी देर में ज्यादा पढ़ा जाता है थोड़ी देर में ज्यादा पढ़ा जाता है बिकॉज आई एम स्टडिंग एट द हाइएस्ट वाइब्रेशनल टाइम क्रिएटिविटी इज हाइएस्ट एट द ब्रह्म टाइम इंट्यूटिव पावर इज द हाइएस्ट अब्जॉर्बन पावर ह्योर इज द हाइएस्ट सो ये कर्मा को पकड़ लेते हैं अर्ली टू बेड अर्ली टू राइस इवन ऑन अ संडे इवन ऑन अ संडे आई नो वी हैव दिस बिलीफ सिस्टम मम्मी आज तो संडे है इवन आई टू डू दैट तब मुझे पता नहीं था कि उसका नुकसान कितना होता है उसका नुकसान होता है the mind and the body should be in is like a cycle it has to go in a disciplined way so very important karma is self discipline self discipline aise nahi hai ki aaj sunday hai to theek hai if i every day wake up at 5 or 6 okay chalo i'm tired i want to sleep an hour more fine lekin agar hum 9 baje tak so rahe hain 10 baje tak so rahe hain matlab then there is no discipline in my life That there is no discipline in my life. So we have to lead a very satvic life. Satvic life means a high vibrational life, where we sleep early, we wake up early. When we wake up, we immediately get ready. Hygiene of the body is so important. Vibration, vibration. Even when you just have a bath, just having a shower cleanses your energy field. Cleanses your energy field. and when you cleanse your energy field creating right thoughts right karma becomes easy because sara din mein humne kitni energies consume kar li hoti hai so that discipline you know ke raat ko samay sona jaldi uthna uthte hi naha lena even if it's a sunday school jane wale din to utha le naha lete hain lekin mamma aaj to sunday hai aaj to sunday hai der se no i have to cleanse my energy that makes me energetic that makes me vibrant that makes me focused that makes me satvic that makes me high vibrational that writes my destiny so always take care of your physical hygiene aise nahi hona chahiye aaj miraj nahane ka man nahi hai wrong karma because it's going to deplete your power it's going to deplete your vibration so emotional hygiene mental hygiene physical hygiene self discipline all seven days baki log mane ya nahi kar rahe aapke friends you do it you do it kar ke dekho and second thing is when you're eating your food food is very important as a karma because food also affects the mind so when you're having your food no phone no tv make it like a law in your house for yourself मम्मी पापा को बोलने की जरूरत ही ना पड़े खुद से करना है मम्मी पापा बोल नॉट ऑलवेज बी देट उसे ये नहीं करो ये करो ये करो क्यों ये सारी लिस्ट आपने अभी बताई है आपकी मम्मी पापा या टीचर्स ने नहीं लिखा है यहाँ पे चैट पे आपने लिखा है सो वी ऑल नो इट ऑल वी डोंट नीड एनी बडी टू कीप टेलिंग अस ये मत करो ये मत करो ये मत करो वी हैव टू डू इट आर सेल्फ सो खाना खाने के टाइम नो स्क्रीन नेवर एवर नेवर एवर एंड खाना खाने के टाइम सबसे इंपॉर्टेंट चीज खाने का इतना असर पड़ता है हमारे माइंड पर एंड दैट क्रिएट्स एन इफेक्ट ऑन माई कारमा एंड देन ऑन माई डेस्टिनी सो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू कीप क्रिएटिंग गुड कारमा तो जहां तक हो सके घर का खाना खाना घर का खाना खाना ये जो आजकल हमने नया कर्मा क्रिएट कर दिया ना कि घर में बैठ कर हम खाना ऑर्डर करते रहते हैं ये दिस इज ऑल गोइंग टू टेक अस अप टू आर डेस्टिनी because it's very simple jaisa an waisa man man is my thoughts thoughts is karma karma is destiny so if i don't take care of the food that i'm eating it will go up to my destiny it will go up to my destiny so hamesha ghar ka khana khana hai jo bhi khane ka man kare aapko kabhi pizza khana hai burger khana hai aap apni mummy ko bolo banane ke dene ke liye बिकॉज मम्मी खाना कैसे बनाती है या पापा या दादी या नानी वो कैसे खाना बनाते हैं वो उसमें बहुत सारा प्यार और ब्लेसिंग्स तो खाने में ही डाल देते हैं खाने में ही डाल देते हैं प्यार और ब्लेसिंग्स जो ब्लेसिंग्स हमें राइट कर्मा से अर्न करते हैं ना आई यू कैन गेट दैट ब्लेसिंग्स थ्रू योर फूड क्योंकि वो बड़े प्यार से बनाएंगे अच्छा अच्छा कुछ बोलते हुए बनाएंगे अच्छा अच्छा सोचते हुए बनाएंगे अब हम सब कभी ना कभी रेस्टोरेंट गए हैं या कभी आप ऐसे रेस्टोरेंट गए हो जहां आपको दिखता है कि खाना कैसे बन रहा है 
तो क्या वो उतने प्यार से बना रहे होते हैं क्या कैसे बना रहे होते हैं कैसे बना रहे होते हैं एक तो वो इतना जल्दी 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 बना रहे होते हैं यहां फेंक रहे यहां करे क्योंकि उनको इतना सारा बनाना है इतना सारा उनको बनाना है सो फर्स्ट एंड फॉरमोस्ट देर इज एन एनर्जी ऑफ हरी ऑलवेज इन द फूड ऑलवेज देर इज एन एनर्जी ऑफ हरी इन दैट फूड इसीलिए अगर आप देखो ना दुनिया में भी पीपल आर ऑलवेज हरिंग ओनली नाउ डेज जल्दी करो जल्दी करो टाइम नहीं है टाइम नहीं टाइम नहीं नो बडी हेज टाइम नाउ डेज बिकॉज वी आर ईटिंग ऑल द फूड दैट हैज बीन कुकड इन लॉट ऑफ हेस्ट फूड हैज टू बी कुकड इन अ वेरी वेरी जेंटल स्लो वेरी वेरी हैप्पी पीसफुल मैनर सो वो नहीं मिलेगा एंड सेकेंडली योर फैमिली मेंबर योर एल्डर्स दे आर कुकिंग फॉर यू आउट ऑफ लव एंड ब्लेसिंग्स and the food that we eat that is being cooked for that is one is being cooked in a hurry but that is being cooked for what is the intention of the food the intention of the food is you eat and i earn so there is intention of money so earning money to usme blessings nahi honge us khane ke andar us khane ke andar money ki intention hogi so once in a while हम बाहर जा रहे हैं कर रहे हैं या हम ट्रैवल कर रहे हैं इज डिफरेंट लेकिन हर रोज हम बाहर से कुछ मंगवा लें हम बाहर से कुछ ले आए हम ऑर्डर कर लें हम कैंटीन से खा लें इट्स गोइंग टू टेक मी अप टू माय डेस्टिनी यू टू रिमेंबर सो यू टू कीप दैट इक्वेशन विद यू अन मन कर्म डेस्टिनी बिकॉज मन इज थॉट्स मन इज थॉट्स Yes, very beautiful. Cooking food is like a heaven. We put our thoughts and feelings into it, and then it gets into us. See, so beautiful. So, आपके जो elders होते हैं, वो किस तरह से खाना बनाते हैं? हाय, मेरा बच्चा ये खाएगा, ये आएगा. They put so much love and blessings into the food. And जो हम खाते हैं, वो क्या डाल रहे होते हैं? हाँ, ये खाएंगे, then I learn hundred rupees more. ये पैसे डाल के वाल energy बनाते हैं. So we don't eat. And the second thing is also, we don't know who's cooking for us. suppose who's cooking for you just had an argument this morning and unka mind pareshan hai and phir unhone khana bana diya so you are going to consume that anger through the food so through the food we don't even we don't only consume physical infection we also consume emotional infection aur acha good karma ye bhi hai ki hum apne mummy ya papa ke sath khud bhi kitchen mein khade hokar khana banaye वो भी अच्छा कर्मा होता है बड़ा अच्छा कर्मा होता है बिकॉज इट रेडिएट्स लॉट ऑफ लव ऑफ फैमिली टुगेदर इन द फूड लॉट ऑफ यूनिटी लॉट ऑफ बॉन्डिंग लॉट ऑफ फन टुगेदर तो वो खाना बनाने के टाइम डल गया तो अपने आप वो सारा दिन में आ जाएगा सो हमें वीकेंड पे ऐसी चीजें करनी चाहिए नहीं कि मेरी छुट्टी आज तो मैं टीवी देखने वाली हूँ मम्मा मेरी छुट्टी आज तो मैं खाना बनाने वाला हूँ मैं खाना बनाने वाला हूँ सिर्फ बनाने वाली नहीं हूँ बनाने वाला हूँ मैं आपके साथ आज लंच मैं बनाने वाला हूँ या वेरी गुड एवरल सेज आई हेल्प माई मदर इन मेकिंग फूड दैट इज वेरी गुड करना वन वी विल लर्न इट फॉर अ लाइफ टाइम सो वील नेवर बी डिपेंडेंट वी कैन ऑलवेज कुक फॉर अस एंड सेकेंड वी आर क्रिएटिंग अ लॉर ऑफ पॉजिटिव एनर्जी इन कुकिंग द फूड कुकिंग द फूड इज लाइक अ रिचुअल एक्चुअली इट्स लाइक अ रिचुअल इट कैन चेंज द एनर्जी ऑफ द हाउस एंड सो हाँ experiment with eating sattvic food sattvic food means vegetarian food kha ke dekhe i am sure mummy papa aapko bol rahe honge jo log mummy papa khate hain wo bolenge nahi khao khao bahut healthy hota hai but karke dekh sakte hain experiment compassion for animals compassion for animals ke i don't need somebody to die for me to be healthy i don't need someone to die for me to be healthy I don't need someone to go through pain so that I can be healthy, because I can get all those proteins and those vitamins from vegetarian diet. But us khane me, we all know what happens in a slaughterhouse, na? Kya emotions hoti hongi slaughterhouse me? So much pain, so much torture, then violence, then death. So eat vegetarian, but then eat very healthy vegetarian. Mummy, papa, isle bolte hain kyunki fir ham utna achhe se khate nahi hai sabji dal. अगर हम उतने अच्छे से सब्जी दाल खाएंगे देन वी डोंट नीड एनी डाइट फ्रॉम अ नॉन वेजिटेरियन फूड सो एक्सपेरिमेंट विद दैट सो ईटिंग होम कुक्ड फूड विदाउट फोन एंड टीवी कुकिंग टुगेदर एंड देन जस्ट बिफोर ईटिंग जस्ट बिफोर ईटिंग फाइव सेकेंड पॉज कनेक्ट टू द डिवाइन से योर लिटिल प्रेयर एंड से इट इन टू द फूड 
I'm powerful, I'm peaceful, I'm happy, I'm healthy, I'm successful. Shukriya Paramatma. Shukriya Zarur Karna. Aapki Sari Shakandar hai. Aap khana khao. So then you're eating Prashad. Actually, rose Prashad kha sakte hai. Kyunki ghar mein joh hum bana rahe hai aur phir usko bhagwan ko yaad karke khayenge wo Prashad ban jayega. Bhagwan ko yaad karke paani piyenge wo Amrit ban jayega. Aur joh Prashad khayenge Amrit piyenge तो उनका माइंड हमेशा अच्छे थॉट्स क्रिएट करेगा फिर उनका कर्म अपने आप अच्छा हो जाएगा डेस्टिनी अपने आप परफेक्ट हो जाएगी इतना इजी होता है अच्छी डेस्टिनी बनाना इज वेरी सिंपल ओनली टेक केयर ऑफ व्हाट वी ईट व्हाट वी ड्रिंक व्हाट वी वॉच व्हाट वी रीड व्हाट वी लिसन दीज आर फाइव थिंग्स विच गो इन साइड व्हाट वी ईट ड्रिंक वॉच रीड लिसन दीज फाइव थिंग्स गो इन साइड दे क्रिएट आर थॉट्स and our thoughts create karma and destiny so if what i eat drink watch read listen coke peena har roz peene ka man karna matlab kyu peena jo healthy nahi hai wo kyu peena again all these things are addictive you know all that we have to do is say okay i won't have this for one month ek mahine ke liye chhodna sirf uske baad to khud hi nahi peene ka man karega we just have to break that addiction just have to break that addiction you can reach such a stage where everyone around you is having coke and you're just sitting not having it and that is amazing will power will power hamari will power bad gayi to hum kuch bhi create kar sakte hain will power so jo bhi cheeze theek nahi hai usko change karna hai now how do i create positive thoughts right thoughts so i should consume positive content on a daily basis at least 10 minutes at least 10 minutes so jaise even this retreat four days five days you are meeting and you are consuming so much positive content positive content ja raha hai na ye sara andar roz char din se so ye positive content jab andar jata hai automatically it will change your thoughts automatically it will change your destiny but then the retreat is for 4 5 days and of course i'm sure in the school you are taught on a daily basis spiritual content spiritual content means high vibrational content divine content to jo hum consume karenge wo hum banenge jo hum consume karenge wo hum banenge if i consume low energy content i become like that if i consume spiritual high vibration content i become like that it's so easy to change my thoughts it's so easy to change my thoughts i only need to take care of the vibration of the content i consume so content five things going in is equal to thoughts is equal to karma is equal to destiny so if i take care of what i consume the rest of the chain is taken care of is taken care of to rose rose kam se kam 15 minute ye seekhna hai कि भगवान हमें क्या सिखाते हैं सो दैट इज द फर्स्ट थिंग ज्ञान ज्ञान भगवान हमें क्या सिखाते हैं तो परमात्मा की शिक्षा रोज कंज्यूम करनी है रोज कंज्यूम करनी है फिर रोज उनको बैठ के याद करना है भगवान से एक पर्सनल रिश्ता क्रिएट कीजिए सिर्फ प्रेयर बोला दैट इज नॉट अ रिश्ता प्रेयर तो हमने बोलना ही है बिकॉज वी आर रिसाइटिंग वेरी हाई वाइब्रेशनल वर्ड्स लेकिन अ पर्सनल रिलेशनशिप विद गॉड विच मीन्स टॉकिंग टू गॉड अबाउट योर लाइफ टॉकिंग टू गॉड अबाउट वॉट्स गोइंग ऑन इन योर लाइफ टॉकिंग टू गॉड अबाउट एनी आंसर यू नो यू वॉन्ट टू नो हैव अ पर्सनल कॉन्वर्सेशन रोज सुबह उनसे बात करके निकले स्कूल से आने के बाद बात करें फिर बीच में दिन में कुछ भी बात आ जाए तो उनको बता दें create a personal relationship with the divine you will start experiencing ki aapke mind pe koi question aayega to phir thodi der mein uska answer bhi aa jayega uska answer bhi aa jayega that is intuition so humne unko pucha unhone answer hamare paas bhej dena hai lekin hame puchna to hoga na hum to google pe jaake dhoondne lag jate hain answer har cheez ka har cheez ka answer wahan nahi mil sakta नहीं मिल सकता है सो क्रिएट अ पर्सनल रिलेशनशिप विद द डिवाइन सो वन इज टू स्टडी डिवाइन कॉन्टेंट तो सेकेंड इज टू स्टैंड सिट इन रिमेम 
conference for a few minutes and have a personal conversation. And raat ko sone se pehle, write a little letter to God every day. Bahut important hai. Write, thank you. Write, sorry for my any wrong karma today. Share what are the what is your plan for tomorrow. Kuch bhi. Ek chota letter zaroor likhna hai roz. Aur wo letter kisi aur ne nahi padna. Kisi aur ne nahi dekhna. That is your letter. And apni ek diary rakh lo of all your letters. But every day if you write your letter to God, your mind is going to be very, very clean, clear and energized. And that makes it very easy to do good karma, right karma. And so thereby create a beautiful destiny. So easy hai na? Easy hai na achhi destiny create karna? Hai na? Aur fir bhi, agar life mein kuch thodi si challenging situation aari hai, doesn't matter. Aap sirf ek hi jiz bolo, meri life baut beautiful hai. Apni life ko, apne aas pas sab chizon ko perfect bolna shuru kar to. Everything is perfect, everything is perfect, everything is perfect, everything is perfect. Perfect bolte bolte bhi sab perfect ho jata hai. Call everything perfect. Well, how are you feeling? I'm perfect. Create a good karma with your body. Kabi kabi na hum apne body ko achha nahi bolte hai. Jaise kisi ne bola, I want to be taller. No. Ha, go and stretch yourself, pull yourself. That's fine. That's fine. But be very happy with the way your body is. Make it healthy. That is very important. But trying to make it prettier or taller or thinner or fair, this is not needed. Because this we are not just doing it in reference or comparison to somebody else. To somebody else. So accept your body. Love your body. Say to your body every day, thank you so much. It's because you are fine. I'm able to do so much in the day. So apni body ka shukrana karna chahiye, shukriya karna chahiye. शिकायत नहीं करनी चाहिए ये ठीक नहीं है ये परफेक्ट नहीं है उनका कितना अच्छा है उसका कितना अच्छा है नो देन वी आर नॉट क्रिएटिंग द राइट कर्मा विद आर बॉडी अपनी बॉडी के साथ भी राइट कर्मा क्रिएट करना है सो so, लोगों के साथ तो कर्मा क्रिएट करते ही हैं अपनी बॉडी के साथ भी राइट कर्मा क्रिएट करना है अपने ऑब्जेक्ट के साथ भी राइट कर्मा क्रिएट करना है यू नो इवन वेन यू गेट आउट ऑफ बेड इन द मॉर्निंग इफ यू जस्ट यू नो जस्ट चेंज द वे यू गेट आउट ऑफ बेड if you just push your bed sheet like this and if you just get out and you don't fold your bed sheet yourself if you don't say thank you to your bed for giving you such good sleep last night then you're not getting good you're not creating a very right karma with matter with objects utho bade pyar se apni chadar ko ta karo bade pyar se apni chadar ko seedha karo and fir usko shukriya bhi bolo shukriya bolo कोई भी चीज ऐसे फेंकना ऑब्जेक्ट्स को ऐसे फेंकना दैट्स नॉट गुड कर्मा विद ऑब्जेक्ट्स वी आर क्रिएटिंग कर्मा विद ऑब्जेक्ट्स वी आर क्रिएटिंग कर्मा विद बॉडी वी आर क्रिएटिंग कर्मा विद पीपल टेक गुड केयर ऑफ एवरीबडी इवन ऑफ ऑब्जेक्ट्स ऐसे ही कुछ फेंक देना कभी अपनी बुक ऐसे फेंक देना कुछ भी नहीं बहुत जेंटल बहुत जेंटल हर चीज के साथ दैट इज क्रिएटिंग कंपैशन That is creating compassion. आपके मम्मी पापा को कभी बोलना ही ना पड़े आपको कि अपना कमरा ठीक करो अपनी चीजें जगह पर रखो It just happens on its own because we will create a संस्कार of doing that. Always keep everything in a very orderly. If my things are kept in a perfect manner, it reflects that my thoughts are in a perfect manner. If my things are very cluttered, cluttered, cluttered. it means my mind is also very cluttered very cluttered so if and if i just put my things perfect outside my mind also starts becoming perfect so clutter nahi rakhna apni life ke andar kabhi bada neat clean orderly perfect aur kabhi bhi fekna nahi hai koi cheez ko har cheez ko bahut gentle aur koi cheez agar gir gayi haath se ya kuch ho gaya to usko sorry bolna usko sorry bolna taaki next time aur acche se dhyan rakhenge this is changing our vibrations this is teaching us how to respect everything and everyone to be caring and sharing and compassionate and then perfect destiny to apne aap hi ban rahe hame kuch karna hi nahi hai kuch karna hi nahi hai okay ji so creating a perfect destiny a beautiful destiny beautiful destiny 
is very simple. And whatever comes in our life, if I'm perfect in my mind, then everything is perfect. Then everything is perfect. But even if everything is perfect outside and I'm not happy in my mind, nothing is perfect. Nothing is perfect. So it all depends on how I am in my mind. So let's take a minute of silence again. I am a powerful being, creator of my every karma, creator of my destiny. God's knowledge, God's love, and God's power is always with me. And I create the perfect karma always. Every thought, every word and behavior, loveful, respectful, compassionate, empathetic, everything I watch, read, listen, eat, drink is healthy. It's creating my destiny. Gratitude to the divine. Gratitude to my parents, my teachers, and gratitude to my mind and to my body for being healthy. Shukriya, Shukriya, and Shukriya. Om Shanti. Very beautiful. Sister uh, Shivani, would you have time to answer four or five questions? Children sure. have raised their hands. Yeah, yeah. I took most of them which were coming on chat as it was coming. But if there's anything more, sure. Yeah, so Sarthik Mishra, should we begin with you? Um, first of all, I would like to thank you for uh, all the very relatable and practical things that you told us about the student life. And ma'am, uh, I would just like to say one thing and then relate a question to that. Ma'am, you said that uh, God is uh, the Bhagya Vidhata. So he is not the Bhagya Nirmata. So uh, in that context, ma'am, what uh, difference does worshipping God with full mind uh, has an impact on our destiny that we create? Yeah. Whether I pray, I worship, I remember, I meditate. So who am I connecting to? I'm connecting to the highest vibrational energy, right? So if I remember you right now, I'll get connected to your energy. And if I remember God right now, I'll get connected to God's energy. So when I, it's like a website, basically, you know, whichever website I type, all the data will come down over there. So when I worship, I connect, I remember God, I'm getting connected to the highest vibrational energy that energizes my mind. So God's knowledge, divine words, every word is divine, high vibrational, and then prayer and meditation, connecting to the divine, filling yourself with God's power. So when I become powerful here, then my every karma will start becoming, right? So yes, God sure. doesn't write my destiny, but God gives me the knowledge and the power with which I can write the destiny. Yes, so that's how we do it. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. 
Yes, ma'am. Thank you so much, ma'am, for this enlightening session. And ma'am, I wanted to ask a question. Ma'am, I just said that our karma decides our destiny. So, ma'am, the, the children which are born, ma'am, like till now they didn't, they have not done any karma. So then also their parents are uh, like, uh, their parents are not with them. When the children are born, their parents suddenly die. So, ma'am, how is this connected? How how can this take place? Okay. I'll share it spiritually what it goes and then you can take your little time to think about it. Okay? okay. So when we say my destiny or my karma, it's not of this body. It's of I, the being. What we call mind is actually the soul. It's the energy, right? The soul, the energy. So we are human beings. Human being means human, humus, mitti, the body. And being means energy what we call consciousness, light, spirit, soul, it's energy. Now, when I die, so when I die, the body is no more working, but the soul is eternal. So the soul leaves this body and enters the womb of a mother. And after a few months, a baby is born. So when I leave my body, I've already done so many karma. I've already done so many karma and so many sanskars. So when I enter the womb of the mother, even the parent where I'm going, even the house where I'm going, everything that I'm going to get over there is actually decided even by my karma in this costume. So that's why when a baby is born, uh, you know, some in some houses, the Panditji will make a Janampatri and give it to you that this is what will happen, this is what will happen. It's based on what? It's based on the karma and the sanskars that I have carried. So my karma and my sanskar continues with the soul on the journey. So it's like changing a dress. Suppose today, which color dress are you wearing right now? I'm green. Green, okay. So you're wearing green, I'm wearing white, okay. And today we meet and we talk. And suppose you don't behave right with me. So you've done a karma, right? Tomorrow you change your dress and you're not wearing red, you're wearing blue. Yes. Ma but if I meet you again, I might not be very nice to you because yesterday in your green dress, you didn't do nice to me. But your dress changed. But does that mean your destiny will finish there? Destiny no. will finish, yes. Because your dress is not creating the karma you are creating the karma. So similarly, body is also just a dress. So we wear this body for 100 years. After 100 years, we leave this body, take another body. Then we leave this body, take another body. But our karma and our sanskars are ours, not of the dress, not of the body. So when a child is born, some things are all perfect. Some things are not very perfect. It depends on what karma I have got with me. Okay. So now it's like similar to that when a person is born, he doesn't have one hand or yeah, like that, some, it is also related to the karma. Everything is related to our karma. Everything. Okay. Thank you so but much. We should, but we should not feel that, oh, they are missing something in life. But they must be having so many other things which are so beautiful and so perfect. Yes, ma'am. So perfect. But everything is decided based on my karma. That's for sure. Yes, ma'am. Thank you so much, ma'am. Vidhi, first, uh, the, you said that uh, we should forgive people as much as we can but my question is that we can forgive but uh, we can't forget those things which are actually done with us and like if a person gives us some unpleasant comments we can uh, forgive them as uh, once twice and thrice and we can give uh, we can give a good vibe to them and like you said energy but till what extent we can? And isn't it a better option to ignore those people? Like it is a, be a better karma to ignore. When somebody has an opinion about us, okay, they say something about us, what are they reflecting? If I say like, to you right now, if I say to you right now, Palak, you're a very beautiful soul. You're a wonderful person. It's actually reflecting my thought process about you, right? And if I say to you right now, Palak, you're a horrible person. It's actually reflecting my state of mind. It's not reflecting you so much. It's actually reflecting my state of mind. So there are so many people around us who say very nice things to us. It's reflecting how beautiful they are. And there are some people who don't say some things which are not nice to us. It is reflecting what is their state of mind right now. Again, an unhappy mind. 
an unhappy mind or a critical criticizing mind or a ridiculing mind who just makes fun of people it's reflecting their opinion if it is elders then it's their feedback so that we need to take of course that we don't ignore like that so if it's our elders we take their feedback but if somebody is just saying something about us it's not about us it's reflecting that you have to remember they have not said anything about me it's reflecting their state of mind jaise agar hamari tabiyat kharab ho hame viral bukhar ho aur aapki mummy aapke liye badi meethi meethi kheer bana de aapko kheer bhi kadvi lagegi usse kheer bhi kadvi lagegi but kheer kadvi hoti nahi hai bahut meethi hai lekin aap bimar hai usse isi tarah kisi ka man not happy hai na so they will find wrong things to say about everybody so but how should that affect us how should that affect me i remember it is their perspective their opinion now what should i create in my mind hai na i create in my mind is powerful soul be happy always radiate a blessing radiate a blessing you don't need to go and say it to them just radiate a blessing from here to them ignore means i don't care but i don't care why that is also not a, that is not a good thought also radiate a blessing god's blessings always with you you are a happy soul Move um, on. ignore did ignore him mean that we should not say anything uh, we uh, should not argue anything just be no, uh, like argue. pray for them to god absolutely. like absolutely yes give. so pray yeah so that is blessings no that is not ignore we are giving blessings to them we are giving blessings to them we are not we definitely not going to entangle we are not going to argue no no not at all लोअर वाइब्रेशनल एनर्जी के साथ कभी इंटेंगल नहीं होना खुद ही खिंच जाएंगे नीचे सो so, जैसे किसी ने नेगेटिव कमेंट दिया एंड यू कनेक्ट टू गॉड सो वे डिड यू गो सडनली ह्योर एंड उनके साथ इंटेंगल किया तो वे डिड वी गो ह्योर सो इमीजिएटली आई डिसाइड वेयर आई वॉन्ट टू गो सो इमीजिएटली गो देयर एंड सेंड देम ब्लेसिंग सो यू आर ऑल्सो प्रोटेक्टेड एंड दे आर ऑल्सो एम्पावर्ड थैंक यू सो मच सच अ ब्यूटिफुल एक्सप्लेनेशन लास्ट बिथ स्पेशली So, ma'am, I want to ask that how do I forgive myself, and how and if I have done some bad karma, so is it too late to like too late to like do some good karma? Oh ho! आपने इतना कोई bad karma किया ही नहीं है पहली बात अभी तक ये भी याद रखना ठीक है कुछ छोटे छोटे not very good karma होते हैं bad karma is too strong a word so you have not done any bad karma we can make a little mistakes on and off. but that doesn't mean it's too late it just means it was one little mistake now to we have a lifetime of doing very good karmas we're all making on and off mistakes right but what happens is we we are aware of our mistake so the next time we are ready to change like we made a little list today you know of what mistakes we made yesterday so i write it in my diary in the night that i did this and then i work not on what i did i'm not going to criticize myself i said okay sorry bhagwan ji aaj mere se ye galti ho gayi and i can also sorry say sorry to the person if i've made that mistake with the person it's a very nice way to neutralize your karma by talking to the person by apologizing or by forgiving because that gives good energy from them and next most important thing is a decision okay next time next time it's going to go the right way so never ever ever criticize yourself never ever choti si galti thi ho gayi and ab lots of achhe achhe karam hone wale hain but you can apologize if it involves another person it's good to say sorry to them it helps to neutralize the effect of the karma uh nursery uh, i had a question that uh, some people are there around us that we don't feel so safe and nice with like if we want to build some uh, something then there is something that holds us back and we do not under like i do not say very nice words to them and if i say them then i don't mean them that much so how to overcome that that feeling and if it is it is right it, and it does that affect my karma or my destiny you have to repeat it a little because i lost it midway i understood one part was i feel i'm not safe around some people right yes, that's one part and i'm not safe around them because i'm not getting good vibrations from them is that true that's yes. one part okay so i'm not getting good vibrations from them could be that they are not creating very right thoughts or very nice thoughts that's one part second is 
i say wrong things to them why would that happen like uh, when i when i talk to them then i whatever i say i don't mean that much if mm. i say even good words then i don't mean them so that do, does that affect my destiny or my karma if i don't mean them means i mean something else and i say something else yes yes ma'am. yeah so i can meet you and i can say it was lovely meeting you and actually it was not a nice meeting aise yes aise wala na ha so i can gently change my karma so i can start changing my thought so that my thoughts and my words are in harmony abhi kya ho raha hai thoughts kuch aur hai and words kuch aur hai so i can start aligning my thoughts and words so if i want to say to them that you know if my mind is saying how boring i don't feel like meeting these people and my words are like oh it was lovely meeting you acha laga aapse milkar but then it's not aligned so i'm not radiating good vibrations so i might not get good vibrations from people that means they are not carrying very good vibrations just for those few minutes suppose but don't focus on what vibrations you're getting from people we are not supposed to check people's vibrations we are going to receive god's vibrations and give those good vibrations to people ye hame karna hai we are not going to keep checking kiski vibes acche kiski vibes acche nahi hai we are going to check meri vibes kaisi hai meri vibes kaisi hai so even if somebody is not creating good thoughts for you you can create good thoughts for them and radiate good vibrations kar sakte hai na kar sakte hai bahut easy hai so focus and always create one thought every morning that god's power and blessings is a divine circle of protection around me draw this isko draw karna apne mind mein aisa ek white divine circle apne charo taraf that god's power and blessings is a divine circle of protection around me lower vibrational energy will not enter your circle so apne aap ko protect karo aur lekin aap se fir har ek ko achhi wali vibration milne do it's your immunity system you won't consume other people's lower energy you will radiate your beautiful energy to all okay okay, okay thank you so sushivani just uh, a little thing you you said god's power and energy is a divine circle around me god's power and blessings is a divine circle of protection around me it's suraksha kavach jaise you know envelop yourself oh, with a it's like a cocoon hmm. ek cocoon bana lo energy ka apne charo taraf so you are enveloping yourself with a higher vibrational energy na the lower vibrations cannot enter into this right. so energy siddhi. ko energy se bachana padta hai <laughs> right so siddhi uh, ma'am firstly i would like to thank you for the like motivational words you spoke and i'm like you give us the example of a ball that we throw and it comes back to us Uh, ma'am, I can relate it. Relate this with a ripple of water. Like whatever we throw into it, it comes back to us. Right. And ma'am, like there are just two lines that I wrote, uh, like summarizing what all I have learned from today's concept. That safalta ek chunauti hai, isse swikar karo. Kya karm kia hai, usse dekho aur sudhar karo. Thank you. Beautiful. Thank you so much. Very pretty. Thank Very you. nice. Very Thank meaningful you, lines. Thank you, beta. Okay, Yuvraj. good afternoon didi thank you for the uh, words that you spoke today so i had a question that so every day i make a to do list of the tasks that i have to work on in a day and so often i proc- procrastinate the task until i reach the last moment when i then i start working hastily so didi what should i do to stop procrastinating yeah so we are going to change our sanskar which means i'm going to change my thought process so we start creating an affirmation we should all create affirmations actually and use it every morning and night affirmation means powerful thoughts that we want should become a reality like for example i want to stop postponing things and i want to be accurate and sincere so i put an affirmation i put a sankalp for myself i complete everything before time i complete everything accurately before time so just create a sankalp right now which means just create a thought and along with that we'll write three four thoughts for all of us i am a powerful being ye sankalp sabke liye bahut important hai i am a powerful being i am happy always i am focused sabne karna hai 
आई एम अ पावरफुल बींग आई एम हेल्दी ऐसे ही साथ में जो आपको संस्कार चेंज करना है जैसे इसके लिए प्रोक्रेस्टिनेशन सो वी विल राइट आई कंप्लीट एवरी टास्क एक्यूरेटली बिफोर टाइम सो जो हम बनना चाहते हैं हमने संकल्प करना है कि हम वो ऑलरेडी हैं जैसे हम अपना फोकस और कंसंट्रेशन बढ़ाना चाहते हैं सो बी से आई एम फोकस्ड नाउ से दिस अफर्मेशन फाइव सिक्स अफर्मेशन लिख लो एंड बी से इट फर्स्ट थिंग इन द मॉर्निंग फर्स्ट थिंग वेन यू वेकअप शुक्राना किया शुक्रिया किया एंड से योर अफर्मेशन लास्ट थिंग इन द नाइट बिफोर गोइंग टू स्लीप से दीज फोर फाइव थॉट दो तीन बार बिफोर गोइंग टू स्लीप सो फर्स्ट थिंग इन द मॉर्निंग लास्ट थिंग इन द नाइट बिफोर एवरी मील खाना खाने से पहले सो so, आपकी मील आपके सामने आ गई परमात्मा को शुक्रिया किया एंड देन से योर थॉट्स इन टू योर फूड आई एम पावरफुल आई एम हैप्पी आई एम हेल्दी आई एम फोकस्ड आई कंप्लीट एवरीथिंग बिफोर टाइम लेट योर फूड अब्जॉर्ब योर अफर्मेशन यू वॉन्ट इफ यू रिमेंबर इट ड्यूरिंग द डे यू कैन इवन डू इट विद योर वॉटर बिकॉज वॉटर एंड फूड अब्जॉर्ब वाइब्रेशन एंड देन विद इन one month less than one month you will start seeing your thought pattern change so we are basically changing our thought pattern earlier thought pattern is ho jayega ho jayega kar lenge baad mein kar lenge kal kar lenge and now we've put a thought pattern i complete everything accurately before time so thode din mein by saying it every morning every night and before every meal our pattern will change and when pattern will change thoughts will change karma will change destiny will change ठीक है, सो एवरीबडी शुड क्रिएट देर संकल्प एवरीबडी शुड क्रिएट अफर्मेशन एंड डू इट इन द मॉर्निंग नाइट एंड बिफोर एवरी मेल अगर किसी को डर लगता है सो वी कैन पुट एन अफर्मेशन आई एम फियर मैं निडर हूं मैं नियर बाय हूं यू कैन इवन पुट योर मार्क्स इन योर अफर्मेशन एक्चुअली दैट्स ए सीक्रेट आप पहले से अपने मार्क्स लिख सकते हो अपने अफर्मेशन में आई हैव ऑलरेडी अचीव्ड एंड फिर पढ़ते जाओ और फिर देखो कैसे वो मार्क्स मिलते हैं आपको पढ़ो अच्छे से बट अपना अफर्मेशन डालो सो दैट यू रिमेन फियरलेस एंड काम एंड पीसफुल बिफोर एन एग्जाम इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट गुड आफ्टरनून दीदी एंड थैंक यू फॉर अ ब्यूटीफुल सेशन दीदी आई हैव अ डाउट दैट द डे बिफोर माय एग्जाम आई हैव आई हैव अ लिटिल बिट स्ट्रेस अबाउट द एग्जाम एंड इन द वे टू and the way to my school i have some stress ma'am so how can i uh, relieve relieve from that stress and be patient for the test okay so throughout the year not just before the exam but throughout the year i will do these affirmations every morning and night affirmations means ye five thoughts hum likh lenge theek hai five thoughts kya hai i am powerful hai na i am powerful i am happy तो हैप्पी इज ऑपोजिट ऑफ स्ट्रेस पावरफुल है हैप्पी है मतलब स्ट्रेस नहीं है आई एम फियरलेस निडर आई एम फोकस्ड एंड फिफ्थ वन माय एग्जाम्स विल बी परफेक्ट क्योंकि हमें स्ट्रेस इस बात का होता है पता नहीं सब परफेक्ट होगा नहीं होगा क्या होगा क्या आएगा सो वी पुट एन अफर्मेशन माय एग्जाम्स विल बी परफेक्ट एंड आई विल एक्सेल I will excel, which means I will get more than what I actually have capacity. हम अपनी capacity को बढ़ा देंगे अब ये पांच छह thoughts ली हाँ एक और लिख दे रहा आई एम हेल्थी क्योंकि जब स्ट्रेस होता है ना तो फिर बॉडी में कुछ कुछ होने लगता है तो एग्जाम के दिन कभी बीमार नहीं पड़ना चाहिए सो आई एम हेल्थी सो कितनी थॉट्स हो गई बताओ आप एक बार रिपीट करो आई एम अ पावरफुल बींग I am fearless. My exams will be perfect. Yes. I will excel it. Ha. And I, I am healthy. Am... Perfect. And last one, a very important thing. God's power is a circle of protection around me. My protection covers. Pen ke zaroor jana exam mein. Draw karo apne charu taraf abhi. God's power, divine light circle around me. अब इसको आप आज से शुरू कर देना कि आप इसको रोज सुबह बोलेंगे हाँ कितना मिनट लगता है पता है लेस देन वन मिनट 
रोज सुबह बोलेंगे रोज रात को बोलेंगे सोने से पहले और हर खाने से पहले बोलेंगे खाने को देखकर और अगर पानी पीने के टाइम भी बोल लो तो और जल्दी हो जाएगा तो सारा दिन में हम इसको पांच छह बार तो बोल लेंगे वन 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 मिनट के लिए एंड फिर आप देखो जिस दिन आपका एग्जाम आएगा आप कैसे होंगे मैम कैन यू रिपीट द मैम द लास्ट द लास्ट वन ओके द लास्ट वन इज गॉड्स पावर इज अ सर्कल ऑफ प्रोटेक्शन अराउंड मी ओके दीदी इट इज माय सुरक्षा कवच सुरक्षा कवच लिख लो उसको इट्स माय सुरक्षा कवच और जब आप एग्जाम लिखने बैठोगे ना मतलब जब शुरू करने वाले होगे वन इज ऑन द वे टू द एग्जाम वन इज ऑन द वे टू द स्कूल बट वन इज ओके वी आर ऑन द डेस्क ऑलरेडी पेन पेपर सब कुछ आ गया है जस्ट टेन सेकेंड टेन सेकेंड के लिए रुकना एंड अगेन से आई एम पावरफुल आई एम पावरफुल आई एम फियरलेस माई एग्जाम इज एक्सलेंट आई विल एक्सेल गॉड्स पावर अराउंड मी शुक्रिया परमात्मा एंड अब शुरू करो अब शुरू करो एग्जाम ताकि माइंड को क्या कर दिया पहले पीसफुल कर दिया फिर एग्जाम लिखना शुरू किया और अगर बीच में लिखते लिखते थोड़ी सी टेंशन आ गई कुछ नहीं आ रहा फिर से फटाफट टेन सेकेंड रुको आई एम पावरफुल आई एम फियरलेस भगवान मेरे साथ है उसको साथ में बिठाना अपना एग्जाम देने के लिए तो भगवान मेरे साथ है ठीक है बहुत बढ़िया होगा सब कुछ और कोई टेंशन नहीं पहली बात तो सोचना मत क्योंकि मेजोरिटी हम सबके पास वही सही पहली एडिक्शन है ज्यादा नहीं उसके बारे में उस तरह से सोचना ठीक है अब कौन सी टेक्नोलॉजी फोन टीवी कंप्यूटर आपका अपना फोन या मम्मी का फोन माय खुद का फोन ओहो आप कितने बड़े हो माम माम टेन इयर्स आपको टेन इयर्स की एज में फोन भी मिल गया आपका अपना तो फिर सबसे बेस्ट चीज है अपना फोन अपने मम्मी पापा को गिफ्ट कर दो दैट इज द बेस्ट थिंग टू डू क्योंकि हमें टेन इयर्स की एज में फोन की जरूरत ही नहीं है एक्चुअली है ना नहीं है ना जरूरत जब भी कुछ देखने का मन करेगा मम्मी पापा को बोलना मुझे फाइव मिनट्स के लिए दिखा दो है ना मम्मी पापा ने फोन शायद इसलिए दिया होगा कि जब आप स्कूल जाओगे अगर आप कहीं अटक जाते हो तो आप फोन देखोगे बट उसके अलावा हमें फोन की जरूरत नहीं है बिकॉज इट इज सो ब्यूटिफुल योर सच अ पावरफुल सोल कि आपको ऑलरेडी रियलाइज हो रहा है कि आई एम एडिक्टेड लग रहा है ना क्योंकि आप क्या देखते हो वैसे फोन पे लाइक आई वॉच लाइक आई प्ले गेम्स एंड आई वॉच लॉट ऑफ यूट्यूब ओ फिर आज गिफ्ट कर दे फोन हाँ मम्मी पापा को गिफ्ट कर दो अपना फोन बोलो बस okay. अपने पास रखो मैं ले लूंगी जब चाहिए अभी नहीं चाहिए मुझे सो द इजिएस्ट वे द इजिएस्ट वे टू फिनिश एन एडिक्शन इज टू स्टे अवे फ्रॉम दैट एडिक्शन यू नो जैसे चिप्स बार बार खाते हैं तो फिर हम क्या करते हैं पैकेट ही उठा के रख देते हैं रखते नहीं तो खाते जाएंगे सो सिमिलरली इफ आई एम एडिक्टेड टू एनी फोन एनी थिंग आई हैव टू गिव इट अवे गिव इट अवे एंड वेन एवर आई वॉन्ट टू वॉच समथिंग आई विल सिट विद मम्मी पापा एंड फिक्स माई टाइम के फाइव मिनट्स और टेन मिनट्स वट एवर एंड वेन दैट टेन मिनट्स गेट्स ओवर स्विच ऑफ स्विच ऑफ then you are becoming a master then you are becoming powerful that i control the phone phone does not control me it should yes. not happen i decided 10 minutes and i watched for 30 minutes no then the phone is controlling me i control the phone so 10 means 10 minutes even if i'm in the middle of a video 10 means 11 minutes nahi 10 minutes baki next time then i become a master but waise abhi ke liye to gift kar dete hain ठीक है दिव्या एंड मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट इज यू इट्स अ वेरी ब्यूटीफुल क्वालिटी टू बी सो ऑनेस्ट इन फ्रंट ऑफ एवरीबडी थैंक यू सो दैट्स रियली ब्यूटीफुल ऑफ यू टू डू दैट थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू दिव्या कैन आई कैन आई जस्ट ऐड अ लिटिल टू दिव्या दिव्या रिमेंबर व्हाट श्रद्धालु दा हैड टोल्ड अस व्हेन अ चाइल्ड हैड आस्क्ड दैट हाउ डू आई इंक्रीज माय विल पावर सो व्हाट दीदी हैज टोल्ड अस इज एग्जैक्टली द सेम थिंग दैट यू हैव टू ऐड टू योर विल पावर 
and when you gift your phone back to your mom it's like adding to your will power the will power has to be strengthened remember look at the but look at the purity on her face yes. it's such a pure divine soul use chehre pe dikhai deta hai so sabhi ke chehre pe dikhai deta hai there's no doubt about it but her smile really reflects who she is as a person inside so cute दिव्य आप इतने प्योर हो इतने प्योर हो वो आपके चेहरे पे दिखाई देता है ये बहुत ज्यादा फोन से कंज्यूम करेंगे ना तो हमारी प्योरिटी मैली होने लग जाएगी इस प्योरिटी को बड़े होने तक ऐसे रखना है है ना वेरी गुड थैंक यू सो मच दिव्य अर्थ मैम गुड आफ्टरनून मैम एंड मैम फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल थैंक यू फॉर दिस इंस्पिरेशन स्पीच and uh, mom i want to ask like mom there are uh, mom sons and mom uh, mom like sons so mom uh, they uh, have uh, only good karmas and mom they uh, like mom from by mistake they uh, make a bad uh, karma in their life so mom why don't they get a, a very uh, happy life because mom they uh, don't have a uh, very like luxury luxurious life and mom all those things but mom like uh, some criminals and mom the, uh, these people mom they have a, a mom happy life they uh, mom uh, visit uh, they have expensive houses mom expensive cars yeah but expensive houses and expensive cars doesn't mean a happy life it only means expensive houses and expensive cars so if i am happy only i will know it depends on how i am inside my mind right i can have something very expensive but i can be very unhappy or stressed or disturbed here so the world will not come to know whether i am happy or not only i know what i am inside right so luxury luxury and having expensive things does not mean that somebody is happy i could have everything and not be happy i could have nothing much and yet be happy and i could have everything and be happy so not that i don't have to have luxuries i can have all the luxuries and but my karma will decide how happy i am here karma sort of two types one is karma which we saw today that we get from our past lives and some this karmas which i am doing every day on a daily basis right right so if something is good in my life it could also be because i have done something very good in my past life and that's why i'm getting that in my destiny but today if i'm doing something wrong like you said somebody who's harming people who's causing pain to people then that karma will also create a destiny so i threw a good ball that good ball is come into my life in terms of luxury and comfort and all but today if i'm throwing a wrong ball that will also come to me that will also come to me but it cannot happen that i'm creating wrong karma and i'm getting right result or i'm creating right karma and getting wrong result not possible it just like we shared i throw the ball now it can come back to me same minute or it can come back to me after a few years but karma will always have a consequence yes so karma yes ma'am uh, ma'am Uh, ma'am, I want to ask, uh, ma'am, is uh, ma'am, do you think is uh, stress is important to uh, uh, if anyone wants to work, uh, uh, so they meet stress? How do you feel when you're stressed? Ma'am, I ma'am, I feel I feel to uh, leave that work. I I want to rest uh, and ma'am, do the uh, do uh, do what I'm do something that I. really want yeah so stress does not mean the exams or our targets stress means when i get disturbed in my mind so disturbance in the mind is not good for anybody it will lower our efficiency it will lower our concentration so always the mind should be stable calm very peaceful powerful stress is a little little disturbed mind we'll we'll take up one last question Govind Paira, child. So, ma'am, I wanted to ask that when I am sick, I get fear that I cannot recover, and uh, how can I just deal with that fear? How can I get out of it? Do you fall sick very often? Yes, ma'am, sometimes. Acha, 
okay so today we wrote our sankalp right did you write down all those sankalp which we wrote right now yeah so one sankalp in that is i am perfect healthy always so even if I was unwell yesterday or last time or whatever, I should not keep that on my mind. So I'll keep that as a sankalp. I'm perfect, healthy, always. I am. Per you say it eight, ten times in the day. I'm perfect, healthy, always. I'm perfect, healthy, always. I'm powerful. I'm happy. I'm healthy. That past is over. It's not going to come again. Create this thought, that past is over, it's never going to come again. I'm perfect, healthy, always. So we change our karma. And of course, apart from that, you're going to take care of your good health by eating right, by exercising, that you must be already doing. But you need to create this thought, I'm perfect, healthy, always. So what happened, don't remember So we create a So we create health. Ka. So I'm perfect, healthy, always. God's power is a protection for me. I'm speechless because it was a beautiful session. Enjoyed every moment of it. And we would love to hear you again and again and again. Shukriya. Thank you so Thank much, Sister so Shivani. Thank you so much. Thank you and shukriya to each one of you. Om Shanti Devi. It was such a joy to listen to your sweet words and such an honor to have you here today. I heartily thank you from the bottom of my heart on behalf of everyone present here. I'm sure we all have transcended into a different and enlightened state of mind after listening to your words. I would like to recapitulate everything that you said so that everyone is reminded of the good things that you said. We started off remembering about what are the beautiful things that are lined up in our way, in our destiny, and we also remembered what are the things that are not working out so well in our destiny. And third, you told us about what we should do in order to make those things work well. Uh, then you taught us about karm, which is the energy that we create as, as a result of our thoughts, actions, feelings, words, and behavior. And you also taught that this is the sole factor that decides our destiny nothing else decides our destiny our karm is the thing that decides the destiny and god does not decide a destiny he's just the person who teaches us how to write our destiny and you said that he is the gps the gyan the pyar and the shakti so we should never blame god for anything that happens in our life and also our destiny is a very unique thing it's a very unique path we should never compare any other person with what is happening in our lives. Also, you taught a very beautiful concept of whenever a person is angry or when the karma from their side is not so good, we should always try to understand them, try to empathize with them and make sure that the ball that we are throwing from our side is always positive. It's always good. We always do the good karma and that is the enough and that is just enough for us because you reminded us that compassion is the most beautiful quality that is in human behavior. And that is the only way that we can earn blessings in life. And those blessings, they accumulate and contribute to a beautiful destiny ahead of us. It is quite fascinating how the colossal idea of destiny is controlled by such fundamental things of what we see, what we eat, what we drink, what we watch, what we read. And you also, taught how just changing these inputs, these small atomic habits can change our destiny. How if we can improve what we do in our daily lifestyle can change how we become 10 years, 20 years later. We should know what are the right choices for us and we should say no, a strong no to the bad ones, to the bad addictions. Because the content that we assimilate in ourselves, the thoughts that we have in our minds, the words that we speak, they become our destiny one point of time in our lives. So you also taught us very beautiful, good habits, very fundamental, practical habits that we should inculcate in our lifestyle, such as eat, uh, eating healthy food, doing a meal prayer to God and being grateful to him before of eating food and without any distractions waking up early in the morning, making sure that we are creative and uh, working well at that point of time, showing compassion to people, to animals, to inanimate things around us, 
uh, and you also told us to write letters to God every night, thanking Him and showing our gratitude. So this way you taught how creating our destiny, such a simple concept, such an easy concept. And we don't have to go looking around outside the world. It's just within us. Who, who we are destined to be is what we decide to be. And we promise, Didi, that we as students will definitely inculcate these habits. We will work on our thoughts. We will work on our actions. We will work on our words and we will make you proud by being the creators of our destiny. Thank you so much. Baby. Thank you so much. Thank you for putting it all so beautifully Thank you so together. Much. Thank you so much, Ivaniti.